It's the most wonderful time of the year, midweek action. Guess what? Lou Nichols is dressed for the first time in two games. Will we see the player that led the nation in rushing yards last year? We're about to find out. Kickoff coming up. Who doesn't love some midweek action? We welcome you to DeKalb, Illinois, the site of NIU. They're welcoming in Central Michigan. And remember, this was a one-point game when these two teams met last year. So who knows what's going to happen tonight inside Husky Stadium. But guess what? We will be ready for it. Let's go, Courtney Lyle, alongside former Ohio State defensive standout national champion Dustin Fox. And Dustin, you look at both of these teams, yeah. injuries have really hurt them, and it's been reflected in their record. But this is a big game for both. Hey, yeah, listen, the records aren't great for both teams, but this is my favorite time of the year. It's midweek action. And for both teams tonight, really, there's four games left. One team could still go to a bowl game. Yeah, you went out, you're going to a, you're going bowling, yeah. and both of these teams did that last year. Looking at NIU, you know they say they take on the personality yeah. of their head coach. Well, NIU has certainly done that because they like to run the football just like their coach did when he was a Husky. Well, and they're going to need to run the football tonight because they don't really have an answer at quarterback. They're down to basically their fourth and fifth string quarterback, so it's going to be a very run-heavy attack. The good news is they've got two excellent backs in Ontario Brown and Harrison Whaley. Both of these, you can see, combined for over 1,300 yards. One of the best duos in the entire country. And Courtney, I think tonight for NIU, the recipe for success, if they can run for over 250 yards i know that sounds like a lot they'll win the game and don't be surprised too if you see either one of these guys light up in the wildcat they've been working on that this week as well on the other side for central michigan maybe a quarterback controversy brewing because we saw them alternate series last week and jace bauer ended up finishing out the game for central michigan yeah look daniel richardson has been the starting quarterback going back to last year and it was really good last year for some reason, not quite himself this year. They lost two offensive linemen to the NFL, a wide receiver, and really they're down to their fourth and fifth string running back as well. So Jace Bauer comes in last week against Bowling Green, gives them that extra element from the quarterback position. They need to get something going on the ground. They haven't got the production from the running back position. Tonight we'll see both quarterbacks. All right, we mentioned it. Lou Nichols, what is his status? Remember, he led the nation last year in rushing yards. He's been out the last two games with an ankle injury. Here's what we can tell you. We were told he was going to dress and warm up. He did that. We did see him favoring that right ankle a little bit. We don't have an official word on whether we're going to see him tonight, but boy, wouldn't it make a difference, Dustin, if we did? There's no question. Lou Nichols, and I had a chance to call a couple of Central Michigan games last season. And Courtney, I got to tell you, this guy is dynamic. He comes back here for this season. He could have transferred. I mean, this guy could be playing in the SEC and be a legit running back. Comes back to Central Michigan, has really had uh, the injury bug this season. Uh, it's at the right ankle. And we talked to some folks at Central Michigan. That right ankle is where he plants the most. And with it not being 100%, we don't know if he's going to be able to go. And so the opening kickoff goes out of bounds. Central Michigan won the toss and deferred to the second half. So Josh Ralston's kick out of bounds, so a penalty to start this game. Free kick out of bounds. Number 63, kicking team. Ball will be placed. So quarterback has been a bit line. of a challenge so far this year for NIU, Courtney. Is we all know Rocky Lombardi. I mean, the guy's been playing college football for 25 years, it feels like, at Michigan State and, of course, here at Northern Illinois. He has been battling every type of injury this season, so now they're down to Justin Lynch. That's a familiar name. Yeah, absolutely. Played at Temple last year, and then also his brother Jordan Lynch was a Heisman finalist when he played at NIU. And so Justin Lynch, the third quarterback that NIU has used this season, they'll immediately hand the ball off to Harrison Whaley, who goes up and falls around around the 40-yard line. It's a five-yard pickup. But yeah, you started out with Rocky Lombardi. There was no question he was the starter for this NIU team. Then he gets hurt. Ethan Hampton takes over, ends up breaking his wrist in a game. He's out for the season, so now you're down to your third-string quarterback, and we might see a fourth quarterback in this game as they stick to the ground game once again. Well, if you like defense and you like watching a lot of runs, you've come to the right place tonight. <laughs> Maxson is for you. You know, it's funny because most MAC games are wild, right? It's, it's high-scoring. You know, teams are, are scoring 30-plus points a game, and 
We love that, right? But this is kind of going to be a little bit of an old school throwback game, in my opinion, because of the lack, really, lack of quarterbacks and lack of depth by both teams at the important positions. So they still give this pistol look with Whaley lined up behind Justin Lynch. The man in motion is Tristan Tavis and Lynch keeping it himself. It's going to be close, maybe just a few inches short of the first down. Needed to get to the 45 yard line. Stopped by Justin Whiteside. I think he's just short court and they're going to go for this. Which he definitely, I, I think you definitely do this, this spot on the field. Thomas Hammock leaving his team out there. Again, started off with... Well, Lynch is going to go out wide. So this will be Harrison Whaley as the Wildcat. And we mentioned both running backs they can use in the Wildcat. They've worked and taken reps there. It's Ontario Brown who takes the snap, and he gets just absolutely demolished by Trey Jones. Wow. Obviously a gutsy call. I, I just think, as you, well, you see number three, Trey Jones comes up here, does a great job bouncing outside, and takes Brown for a loss. Remember, this is a Central Michigan defense that's legit. They are second in the nation in tackles for loss, and Trey Jones, one of the leaders back there in the secondary, comes up with a big spot, and CMU has excellent field position to start this game. So starting out, it is Daniel Richardson in at quarterback, and he goes to the air, going to Joel Wilson, one of their main targets. They'll throw to number 83. They'll also go to Carlos, Carlos Carrier. Those are their two targets that this NIU defense was really concerned about. Yeah, we, we chatted this week with defensive coordinator for NIU, uh, Nick Benedetto, and he said, boy, we got to shut down 83 and two. Those are the two guys. They've, they accounted for nearly 45% of their offense. And look who's in the backfield. It is Lou Nichols, number seven in white. He is back for the first time in two games. They'll throw it again, this time to the top of the screen. And Chris Parker playing in his first game. They've been depleted at wide receiver, too, makes his first catch. Well, it's great to see Nichols back in action. Courtney, this is a guy that last year everybody in the country was talking about. I mean, he was first team all Mac led the nation in rushing yards, had 10 100-yard rushing games a season ago. And boy, that, that, this is a, a really good sign for the Chippewas to see him in the ball game. Jace Bauer in at quarterback in the pistol, fakes the handoff to Nichols and rolling out by himself. Picks up the first down. His specialty is using his legs and that really helped them in their last game. There's no question. And the change of pace here, I like it. They're, they're changing up in drive the quarterback position, and we we talked with Paul Petrino, the offensive coordinator for Central Michigan. They said they're going to do that in this game, and obviously now you see Richardson back in at quarterback. Yeah, the key was who can help us move the ball forward? Anybody. Down yeah, the field. No question. A handoff, and there is Lou Nichols with his first carry in two games. He was injured in the Ball State game. Takes it to the 17-yard line. And Jace Bauer runs back in at quarterback. Do you like the switching it up? I love it. I, listen, I, I've watched a lot of tape on this team this year, and they have been so inconsistent on offense. Coach McElwain's really kind of desperate to do anything to get some offense going. And Jim McElwain in his fourth season with Central Michigan. Bauer keeping it and just putting his head down and rolling forward all the way inside of the six-yard line. Stopped by C.J. Brown. And you'll see the lead block coming in here by the running back, Christian Brown, 36. And Bauer just follows him all the way. I mean, he doesn't even get touched for about seven yards. Bauer stays in along with Christian Brown, who was questionable. They ran out of scholarship running backs. So much expecting to see DeJavy on stage. So Bauer keeps it. Need some help with the run game, you give it to your quarterback, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I mean, we saw it again last week. Bauer did it on the ground. He had 16 carries for 109 yards a week ago, and they come back to a, a looks like the same play as 
36 Christian Brown leads it up in there and Jace Bowers in for the touchdown his third of the season Marshall meter on to attempt the PAT it is up and good six plays 43 yards and a touchdown from Jace Bauer his third rushing touchdown of the season two quarterbacks working for Central Michigan hey field position to start the game a risk by NIU CMU makes it pay seven nothing from DeKalb How did they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. On a Fansville homecoming by Dr. Pepper. Surprise! CJ, oh, we weren't expecting you. Hey buddy, what are you doing here? Hey, go state. You replaced me with star quarterback Bryce Young. We could never replace you. Here's your Dr. Pepper mom. Mom? It's just a silly nickname. He came up with dad for me. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Huh. They're my family now, CJ. Next time on Fansville. Hey, brother. Get out of my room! Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Cut! I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. No need to get that personal. State Farm personal price plan, it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is Philadelphia Cheesecake. Cheesecake is everything. Pick your own. Yo, my name is Luis, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the different flavors that are hitting your mouth at every millisecond. You get the explosion and the zestiness of the chicken, then that spice just kicks in, and if you add that cilantro lime, perfection. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At X-Chair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. X-Chair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. X-Chair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work worlds zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At X-Chair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com today and get 50% off an XHMT heat and massage unit with every chair. We really don't know how many quarterbacks we're going to see in this game. Central Michigan using two. It has been insane for Northern Illinois. In fact, their offensive coordinator, Eric Eidness, he told us it's enough of injuries for a, a career. But they've played three different quarterbacks. Justin Lynch, the starter today, because Rocky Lombardi got hurt. Ethan Hampton got hurt. He's out for the season. And we may see another player in at quarterback, two in number 13, Nevin. Kremaskoli, who has not played this season, and he is running out there right now, number 13 in red. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I mean, this guy is, is a preferred walk-on. This will be his first ever collegiate snap. Fifth string on the depth chart, basically, right? Coming into the season. And you don't know how a guy's going to react until well, you put him out there. Yeah, and listen, they said they, they like his pocket presence. He's a big, strong kid. Probably a little bit of a better arm, frankly, than, than Lynch. But again, he's never played in a game. They go pistol. Whaley behind him, rolling out off a of play action. Give him an easy throw to complete to Tristan Tavis. Okay. Nice start. <laughs> hey, nice, easy start. Little rollout boot action. Find Tavis in the flat and let Tavis run with the football. He's wide open. That's a 25-yard pickup. It takes the ball to the 50-yard line. So a good play to get this new quarterback comfortable. And now they're going to send him out 
and go up in the Wildcat with Ontario Brown once again, number one in red. He keeps it himself. He's got some room on the edge, falling forward to the 45-yard line in Central Michigan Territory. Yeah, so some interesting looks so far to start the game. And Kremaskoli is going to stay in at quarterback. Now listen, they want to try and give him some consistency. Unlike CMU, I don't think they're going to rotate quarterbacks in drive. Hand off to Brown. Picks up less than a yard, about back to the line of scrimmage he goes. And we talked about Northern Illinois wants to run the football. Their head coach, Thomas Hammock, he's actually in the Northern Illinois Hall of Fame now as a running back. So this mentality, it's no surprise to this NIU team who wants to pound the rock. No doubt. I mean, being a former running back himself, it's funny, we were chatting with him this week. He says it's hard to take his eyes off that group. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him, do your eyes drift over there a little bit more than normal? He said, absolutely. Pass is complete. Cole Tucker's got it. Inside the 35 as Nevin Kremaskoli looking pretty comfortable. Tackle made by Ronald Kent. And Cole Tucker is probably excited to see a quarterback in the game that can get him the football. As he sits down into this zone, there's no one within 15 yards of him until Ronald Kent comes up and makes the stop. Cole Tucker, their leading receiver. Quarterbacks have a lot of trust in him. Got the deep ball here. Now, Eric Eidsness did tell us their offensive coordinator they really like Nevin Kremaskoli's deep ball. He's got the big arm, bigger than Justin Lynch. Justin Lynch is more of a running quarterback. Uh, the one thing about that throw now, when you're a running football team, they, they're like, they like to be in situations where they're ahead of the sticks. And they got a second and 10 situation here for the Huskies. And how about this? They're going to go empty set with a stacked bunch at the top. And he's looking towards the top. Pass is complete, but no gain on the play. They're going to say incomplete. I think, incomplete. It hit, I think it may have hit the ground court. It was Harrison Whaley who was over there. My question was, was it a forward pass? Because if it were backwards, it would be a fumble. So they're looking at the game clock right now. Thank you. The clock will start on the snap. Okay, so still NIU ball. Okay. So they're going to say incomplete pass. Whaley is the back. Kremaskoli in trouble, flushed out of the pocket and throws it away. Yeah, smart play. Listen, you got a, a freshman quarterback in there. A lot of times when you put someone in this situation, they may try to make a throw. Instead, he throws it away. And now maybe a little bit of a decision here for NIU. Kind of in no man's land here, Courtney. Looks like they're going for it on fourth down. Why not? What do you have to lose? If you punt this and it goes in the end zone, you net 14 yards. They're 0 for 1 tonight. They turned it over deep in CMU territory on their last possession on fourth down. Kremaskoli airing it out and just misses his target. Tasper Rukowitz. Boy, he had Rukowitz open, just throws it about a yard over his head so central michigan again for the second drive of the game gonna get the football back with good field position up seven if you savor every saucy bite of your mcrib like it's your last you've properly prepared for the mcrib farewell tour ba -da -ba -ba -ba. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Why are so many people turning to Super Beats Crystals? Because Super Beats Crystals give you the energy and blood pressure support you want from real beets without the beet taste. This is Super Beats, and I swear by it. It gives me more healthy energy to keep up with my hectic schedule and supports healthy blood pressure. Super Beats is the number one pharmacist-recommended beet brand for heart health support. 
inspired by the Nobel Prize winning discovery of nitric oxide for its important role in regulating cardiovascular health. Super Beet's black cherry flavored crystals unlock the nitric oxide boosting power of beet nutrients to help widen your blood vessels, supporting healthy blood flow so your body can produce energy more efficiently. That's why over 120 professional and college sports teams use our bead crystals. Because Super Beats not only supports healthy blood pressure, it also promotes energy and stamina for peak performance. I'm Hunter Kemper. I'm a four-time Olympian in the sport of triathlon. Super Beats it helped me win big races late into my 30s. It's increasing your circulation, and that's why this product is so amazing. Call now and find out how to get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats with your first order. Just one teaspoon of Super Beats gives you the functional benefit of 40 teaspoons of Fresh Beats without the beet taste. You'll also receive these free nitric oxide indicator strips to measure your results, plus a free travel pack of our delicious Super Beats chews with added grapeseed extract for powerful antioxidant support. Perfect for on-the-go energy. Act now, and we'll even include free shipping and free returns. That's over $30 in free gifts, all backed by our 90-day money-back guarantee. So do something good for your blood pressure and your energy. You'll love Super Beats or your money back. For this special offer, go to superbeatsdeal.com or call 1-800-634-3958. That's 1-800-634-3958. Central Michigan up 7-0 early on here in DeKalb, Illinois. Some midweek action for you, Courtney Lyle and Dustin Fox. And we did get to see Lou Nichols led the nation in rushing yards last season. He was dealing with an ankle injury, and the coaching staff told us, Jim McElwain said, look, we don't want to force him back. He's been playing well. He was able to practice on Monday, but he can make a big difference for this team. He can. He did have the one carry for about six or seven yards, which was good to see. They put him in for another play where he was kind of a decoy. But again, good to see him back on the field regardless. It's a threat when he's out there. And now they go back to Richardson, the quarterback, to start this drive. Yeah, Central Michigan alternated quarterbacks on their first drive. It was Jace Bauer punching it in, using his legs. That's what he's known for. But here's Daniel Richardson airing it out. The pass complete, Joel Wilson. That's the second time we've called 83's name. C.J. Brown on the stop. What did you think about them alternating quarterbacks in that first possession? I, I liked it a lot. I think it, it was a good change of pace. It kept NIU a little bit on their toes. And it worked. I mean, Bowers came in and really gave him a spark. This is going to be Sam Hicks, who's a wide receiver, but they're using him because of their depleted running back room. A flag comes out. And he is gang tackled at the 45. I think they're going to get McGoy here, number zero with a hold on the outside. Ron Hudson is our referee tonight. Illegal block in the back, number zero, offense, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, remains second down. Yeah, that is Jalen McGoy. Yeah, take a look here from this look, zero right there. He's got the jersey, he's pushing from behind. They could have called holding or block in the back, either one but definitely the right call. But hey, listen, nice to see Hicks out there. He's got a little burst to him. The wide receiver. They've used all kinds of people at running. You have wide to. Wide receiver, they have a safety. Yeah. Somebody could come in yeah. and play running back. Sticking with Richardson and Lou Nichols. Nichols up the middle. Gets a push forward to the 40. Nick gets a in on the stop. Gets a really good push by this offensive line. The center, Jamez Kimbrough, just totally pushes out the interior of that defensive line, which is the strength probably of the NIU defense and allows NIU to pick up about six yards. And the offensive line for the Chippewas, it's struggled. I mean, they lost two really good mm, yeah. teams who are playing in the NFL right now. Richardson off play action. Complete for the first down to the 50-yard line. Looks like that was 85. Bryant Keith. Yeah. You got to go deep into the depth chart for this game, Courtney. <laughs> I mean, both teams have really struggled with injuries to this point, but it is November, and it's it's Maction. 
Got to go to the fifth string for some of these guys. Wilson goes in motion. Richardson under center. Double pass. Up, double pass. Didn't have time to get the pass off, and he's going to be dropped for a loss on the play. And yeah, good discipline here in the back end by Anna. You can see him go backwards, Wilson. So it is a backwards pass. Gets a little bit of pressure coming in there. I think Isaiah Green May got there first to Wilson. Oh, and he's limping over on the sideline. That's not good. No, it's not. Again, he is their leader in touchdown receptions this year. They use the tight end Joel Wilson a lot. Kind of surprised they didn't put Bowers in here. Yeah, we haven't seen Bauer in this drive. They alternated on the first drive. Richardson airing it out, connecting to Finn Hogan. A big pickup inside the 25. Now you'll see at the end of this play, good wide receivers know how to get away with a little bit of a push. Just a little bit enough right there. As he pushes off, it's Lafayette who's in coverage. The Husky position for NIU and Finn, you know, again, they don't have a lot of healthy wide receivers. Finn has played every position, the X, the slot, and the Z. Richardson over the middle. Joel Wilson back on the field. Touchdown was ruled. Oh, it's a touchdown. I, I, yeah. yeah, he definitely crossed the, the goal line, and, and as he comes down, the ball comes out. But Joel Wilson's still down in the end zone. You'll see he's Joe Wilson's wide open right down the hash. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. touchdown. Ball crosses the line. It comes out as he hits the ground. The ground can't for, cause a fumble. That's correct. Yeah. So you could see as, as Wilson comes down that left ankle. Took a, a really tough turn and he's going to be helped off the field it was shaken up before that play was limping over on the sideline came back in caught the touchdown and you see where he ranks among tight ends in the fbs i mean they use this guy a lot he's a big part of what they want to do he's physical he's also improved his blocking they told us too he could even line up at quarterback and take a snap yeah he's he a, was really, a high school quarterback yeah really good player played linebacker in high school too so this guy can can really do it all and hopefully he's able to come back in the game, but that doesn't look good as he's not able to put any pressure on that left foot. Yeah, right after catching his sixth touchdown of the season, PAT is up and good, and Central Michigan is up 14 to nothing. But Joel Wilson helped off the field after catching a touchdown. First Saturday in November with his great rivalry. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. <laughs> Starburst, unexplainably juicy. More truck owners are switching to Ram, which means more people behind the grill are switching to Ram. Can you flip that? And more people behind the people behind the grill. More first leg of the road trips. More uncles who take Thanksgiving football games too seriously. And more people who can't resist telling you that the leaves are changing. Leaves are changing. Are switching to Ram. During the Ram Black Friday sales event, get 0% financing plus 2,000 total bonus cash on the 2022 Ram 1500. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are mighty. Annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Woo! Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. <laughs> Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. I need some sleep. Oh. 
If you struggle with CPAP, you should check out Inspire. Inspire, sleep apnea innovation. Learn more and view important safety information at inspiresleep.com. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. It's Macy's Veterans Day sale with our lowest prices of the season, like the Jolene Sectional $12.99 and Hosting Essentials 20 to 40% off. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying mattress purchase. Now at Macy's. To everyone this holiday season, give love, give style, find joy for everyone on your list with Macy's Gift Finder. How do I do it all? With a little help. And to support my family's immune health, I choose Airborne. Unlike some others, Airborne gives you vitamin C and so much more. It's an 8-in-1 immune support formula. Airborne, do more. Can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? You have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Here's this week's featured ESPN College football game. Bryce Young, number six, Alabama, squaring off against Jaden Daniels and number 10, LSU. Big SEC West matchup coverage begins Saturday night at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ESPN and the app. Alabama got that one loss on the season to Tennessee, who was number one in the college football playoff committee's first reveal. Look, if Alabama wins out, they're in. And I use going to take a knee here. I think it's going to be a great matchup on Saturday. I'm really looking forward to this game. Both these quarterbacks have been dynamic throughout this year and almost identical, right? I mean, 21 touchdowns responsible for? Come on. Yeah, and LSU looks like a different team than when they played Tennessee. Let's see which team can play some defense this week. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That should be a really fun one. Defense optional in the yeah. volunteer game, right? <laughs> no kidding. So we've seen four quarterbacks in this game. Nevin Kremaskoli is going to continue to get the nod for NIU. What did you think about his first drive ever as a college quarterback? Oh, listen, he came out. He had a couple completions. He found Cole Tucker that got him down to about the 35-yard line. And then it just, you know, the defense of CMU just kind of stiffened up a little bit, and he was forced to get outside the pocket, throw a couple of balls away. They went for it on fourth down. And look, you're down 14 points. I think you have to stick with the, the, the better thrower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was dangerous, though, thrown behind him. And Dante Kent almost had himself an interception. Yeah, he was looking to take that to the house. What a great break by Dante Kent, the sophomore. Trying to find Tucker. That ball's thrown behind. And that is a huge break for the Huskies. They're not a team that's built to play from behind. There's no doubt about that. I mean, they're, they're a, a huge rushing team. And now they're going with a quarterback that's never played before. Or one for three on third down tonight. It's third and ten. And that one way over the head of his intended target, Whaley, coming out of the backfield. Uh, and th listen, this is not what you want for NIU. Look, and Thomas Hammock told us, you don't know what you're going to get until you put them out there. They tried to do as much pressure situations yeah. where they had to saw different coverages in practice. Remember, they had an extended break before this game, about 10 days before this game. But you can't simulate everything about a live game. Yeah, and, and listen, they asked both quarterbacks for their top three plays they like their, and their, their bottom three plays that they don't like. And they'd throw out the bottom three and make it a little bit more comfortable for both of these guys in this game. Christian they get a Brown nice, is nice roll. This one roll, yeah. Now there's a flag on the field about near midfield. We'll get you an update on that here in a moment. NFL Sunday countdown crew has you covered for week nine, 10 a.m. Eastern. And then the Monday night countdown crew is going to get you set for Ravens Saints at 6 Eastern. Both are on ESPN and the app. So we'll see what the flag is at the 50-yard line. 
after the play is over. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 38, kicking team. 15-yard penalty from the end of the kick. First down, Central Michigan. Yes, they're going to get the football at midfield. Think about this. CMU, the starting field position so far, and I used 45. Now the 50 and the, and the 35 of their, their own 35, I should say. So really good starting field position for the Chippewas, and they're taking advantage of it. And that's a penalty for NIU. That you, you yeah, that's, you can't have that. It's, goodness. Yeah, Jim McElwain in his fourth season. He got them their first bowl win last year since 2012 when they defeated Washington State. But as we mentioned, the injuries and losing some key pieces, especially on that offensive line. Have hurt Jace Bauer in at quarterback now. We saw Daniel Richardson take the snaps the entire last drive after rotating on the opening series. Cal Pugh and Ray Thomas in on the stop. Uh, that's what you typically see from this defense. They, they fly to the football. You'll see Kyle Pugh, who's in like his 25th year of college football. He's 85 he's, years old. He, he's literally <laughs> in his eighth season of college football. And he's healthy, and, and boy, he's the leader of this defense. Richardson under pressure just has to get rid of it. Yeah, right up the middle. Aiden Dolphin was coming at him. Now remember, one injury here for the NIU defense. Davier and Rayner is not playing in this game, so Jaden Dolphin, who does rotate with, with Rayner, is starting. And he's the one who gets the pressure there on, on a big second down that's gonna put him in third and long. That was the first incompletion, too, for Daniel Richardson, who stays in at quarterback with Lou Nichols. He's got three wide receivers to that near side. He looks that way, and the pass tipped up in the air and intercepted by NIU. Jordan White has the football. And a flag at the 40. I don't know what this call is. I, I know Jordan, I saw Jordan White, the defensive back, he pushes Caden Conley. Sideline warning, Northern Illinois. That's their first of the game. First down, Northern Illinois. So on, on the tip pass, this is really smart by, by White. Conley is, is trying to catch the football. You see 48 and White. And all of a sudden, White comes in, pushes 48, and makes the interception. And maybe that's the spark that NIU needs. Their defense comes up with the turnover. And Courtney, that has been the bugaboo for CMU all season. They've turned the football over 19 times now. James Esther was the one that tipped it up in the air. He's one of these captains for NIU. And so here goes the offense with the best field position it's had of the night. They pitch it out to Brown. I think, Courtney, after watching those first two drives, even though they stay with the quarterback, Kremaskoli, they need a heavy dose of Ontario Brown and Harrison Whaley. I mean, you, you saw them go three and out in that last drive. That is not something that Thomas Hammock wants to see. They use Whaley most of this game, and now Brown is in. They fake it to him, pass complete, just short of the 40-yard line and short of the first down by about four yards. So, like, here is a situation where I would consider going Wildcat. I, 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 and maybe they are, actually. I'm, I'm, they bring Whaley in the game. I don't think so. Now they're just going to line him up next to Primascoli. i definitely run this football. They're one for four on third down tonight. Primascoli in trouble. Uh, you're going to have Black a hold, out. yeah. Yep. The left guard, 76, John Champ, is going to hold on the outside. He, he gets a hold of 71, Robbie Stewart, and Stewart can't get off the block to, to chase down Kremaskoli. So that's going to come back. They, they may decline it. Although I'd probably, I'd probably back him up. Number 79, offense, 10-yard penalty, remains third down. They called it on Lippy. I could have flipped the numbers, 76-79. <laughs> it was, it was, I thought it was on the left side. I thought it was champ, but it could have been Lippy. Either way, now third and 14 for the freshman quarterback getting his very first career college start. 
This game important for both teams. Both teams need to win out in order to be bowl eligible. They both made bowl appearances last season. So the ball spotted at the 49 yard line in NIU territory. <laughs> Kremaskola running out of time, checks it forward right through the hands of Tristan Tavis. And it's fourth down. Tom Foley on to punt. Central Michigan will send Christian Brown back. They have struggled to field punts this season, but he's been their most consistent. Glad to have him back from an injury. He'll let this one go. Oh, and it's bouncing. And NIU drops it just short of the goal line. Boy, what a play by Profit getting down there. 24, great job. Nearly goes into the end zone, but is able to knock the football out down at the one yard, inside the one yard line. And this is the deepest that Central Michigan's been penned tonight. Yeah, this is by far the, the best. They've been handed excellent field position. Ooh. Oh! Remember, it's the ball. Yep, yep. As long as he keeps it past that goal line. And they make a look at this. The previous play is under further review. So we'll give you a second look at it too as the officials up in the replay booth are taking a look. Andrew McGrath is our replay official tonight. As the ball crossed the goal line. Remember, there's a difference between college and NFL. On whether it's the foot or the Correct. ball. It, now, it does have to be obvious for them to overturn this because the original calling was that the ball was down at the one. Is that foot on the line? Yeah, yes, it is. the foot is definitely on yeah. the line. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down at the half yard line, Central Michigan. in at quarterback. They have rotated quarterbacks tonight with Jace Bauer. Lou Nichols is the running back. They put Fen Hogan in motion. Nichols takes it, gets a push out to the five. Hogan in motion again. Richardson under center. They go back to Sweet Lou. And he's got a first down. We have not seen Joel Wilson come back out onto the field. He caught that touchdown, his sixth touchdown catch of the season, but was helped off the field with an injury. We're still waiting on an official update on his status, but that's a key target for them when they do go to the air. It is interesting, Courtney. All the runs for Lou Nichols, they've been inside. You know, I don't think he has the burst to get on the perimeter. It was an ankle injury. It was an ankle injury, absolutely. And there he goes again. You see, he doesn't quite have the ability to plant off that right foot. 
But again, this kid is so tough. When we talked with Coach McIlwain this week of Central Michigan, he's like, they almost have to hold him back from himself because he wants to play. But they're thinking about his future. This kid's going to have a bright, bright career in the NFL someday. And obviously here at Central Michigan as well prior to that. And with four games left to go, opportunity to get to a bowl game here. Lou Nichols wants to be out there with his teammates. And yeah, that'll do it for the end of the first quarter. Lou Nichols making his first appearance since October 8th when he was injured against Ball State. And his Central Michigan Chippewas have a 14-0 lead. A couple of touchdowns for the Chips tonight. One from their quarterback, Jace Bauer, and the other through the air. Daniel Richardson letting it fly to his tight end, Joel Wilson. Chips up, 14-0. Jake from State Farm. Look, I want that personal price plan, so I'm going to level with you. I've literally never washed Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. Jeff, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. Uh... Yo, Jeff, you sure this is clean? Absolutely, Patrick. There you go. Ugh. That's on me. Yeah. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Life is expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? Because he made the smart choice to shop with IKEA. With new benefits for IKEA family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in store. Every visit, every day. IKEA. Can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? You have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Hi, folks. This is important. It's the Medicare annual enrollment period when you find out if your Medicare Advantage plan will change coverage and benefits for all of next year. Fact is, your prescription and dental benefits, your co-pays, and your doctor network can be different than your current coverage. Call the free Medicare coverage helpline to confirm if you will have the same coverage next year. Plus, you can check to see if your plan has any new options like the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. I call every year to see if my dental benefits changed, make sure my copays won't go up, and that my doctor is still covered. I call to see if I'm eligible for a plan that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call to make sure my doctors are still on my plan. Folks, it's simple. One, call the number at the bottom of your screen. Two, check the changes to your coverage and see if your zip code has a new plan with lower co-pays, better prescription and dental coverage, and the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Three, you'll find out the changes to your coverage and what Medicare plans you're now eligible for. Call and get what you deserve. I call to make sure my plan's co-pays won't go up. I call to see if I'm eligible for a plan that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call to find a plan with lower co-pays and more dental coverage. I call every year to make sure my doctor is still in my plan. Call to find out the changes to your coverage and what you're now eligible for. Millions of people have called the Medicare coverage helpline. You should, too. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. Call 1-800-262-9641. That's 1-800-262-9641 now. When the details take precedence, the rest falls perfectly into place. We strip away everything but the essential. And what we're left with are thoughtful bedrooms for modern living. Thuma. Second quarter, midweek Maction. Oh, mission two. Needs to give a little love to his football team out there. They're down 14 to nothing in Central Michigan. Driving here, but pinned back to the furthest, the deepest they have been in this game. They've been given excellent field position up until this point. 
And Jace Bauer is in at quarterback, the one that can run. He's already running in for a touchdown. He'll be maybe a yard short of the first down, takes it to the 20. Well, and listen, that's what Lou Nichols being in the game gives you. Nearly the entire defense follows Nichols on the fake. And then the naked boot with Jace Bauer out the backside to pick up about nine yards. So now they've got a, a very manageable third and one situation. And Lou Nichols being in the game with Richardson back in at quarterback. I, I think you just hand the football, you turn around and hand it to number seven. Goes up the middle, that's what we've seen him do all night. Just up the middle, still dealing with that ankle injury and needed to do that to get the first down. Just that one yard, C.J. Brown in the stop. And C.J. Brown comes up and, and fills the void, but he takes the brunt of the hit by Lou Nichols as Nichols falls forward for an extra couple of yards. A huge story to get Lou Nichols back for the first time in two games as Central Michigan was out of scholarship running backs in their last game. And they hand it back to him, a pickup of two yards to the 25. I think a 60, 70% Lou Nichols is better than anything that they've been able to have this year because of the depth. I mean, they've had multiple running backs. You know, Marion Lukes had a, had a really nice game against Akron, then he breaks his ankle against Bowling Green. Miles Bailey's been banged up out for the season. So many players have been hurt. So this is great to see him back and averaging almost five yards a carry. Richardson dropping back, airing it out. Carlos Carrier off the fingertips. No flags. This is really good job by Bird on the outside. Javon Bird, number two. He stride for stride with Carrier on the outside, and he gets him hooked here a little bit, but then he lets go right there. That's a good job. Gets his head turned around. That's a great no call and excellent coverage by Bird on the outside. Third down coming up. Central Michigan two for three on third down tonight. They go three by one. Nichols still in at running back. Daniel Richardson is the quarterback. They dump it off to Lou. Makes a move. There is a flag in the backfield at the 20. A hold, possibly. That's the early indication, Courtney. Yes. Holding, number 75, 75. Offense. offense, 10 yard penalty, third down. That's the left tackle, David Heinzen. Davis Heinzen. Let's see, left side of your screen, he is going to grab the jersey. It's an easy call. It's going to drop the ball back to the 15 yard line, make it third and 18. This time, Christian Brown is in at running back. Brown's turn. He was going to have to go a long way. He's going to be short of even getting back to the original line of scrimmage. Boy, and he, and he rolls up on Kenny Brewer, the wide receiver who was blocking. And, and that looked, from up here, Courtney, looked really painful. Brewer. Is, is stock blocking on the outside. You'll see Christian Brown, 36, the running back. As he's tackled, he's gonna roll up the leg of Kenny Brewer right there. Oh, that looks painful. Yeah, Kenny Brewer, the transfer from Valparaiso. They're taking a look at him and they are helping him up. So that's a good sign. We'll step aside for a moment. For every holiday, for everyone, Ritz, a taste of welcome. I'm the team mascot, and boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a hit. And if you have cut-rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hi.
How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know. But you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. I get asked what cookware I use a lot. Showcase of Young Guns, Sunday on ESPN. That is hockey. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. I love how Cricket has no hidden fees, no hidden charges. It's just predictable. With Cricket, I can stay in touch with my grandson as much as I want without being concerned that my bills go up. The 5G is like fast, fast. It makes sharing photos of our projects and video calls super easy. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. Smile, you're on Cricket. Can I help you? Um, I wanted to mail this. Okay. Layla is our messenger pigeon. What? Oh my god. This is mostly secure. Mostly. Fairly secure. Yes, sir. This is crazy! You know what else is crazy? That SMS text that he's sending? It's unencrypted. Other people might see your text just like other people might see that letter. You're kidding. No. Actually, a beautiful night here in November in DeKalb, Illinois. NIU was able to pen Central Michigan back to start this drive at its own one yard line, and now the Chippewas will have to punt. Luke Elzinga on to punt. Cole Tucker back for the Huskies. And he calls for the fair catch. You know, this NIU team, their identity is running the football, and a lot of that comes from their head coach, Thomas Hammock. He was an outstanding running back when he was a Husky, when he played for NIU. And actually, he was inducted into the NIU Hall of Fame back on October 7th. He said it meant a great deal to me. It was so awesome to have my family there. He had two seasons where he rushed for over 1,000 yards. He was a first-team All-Max selection. And this dude could run the rock. Remember watching him. He's a terrific running back. And I used to have some really good running backs throughout the years. Remember Michael Turner, of course. Great NFL star. Amick playing for Joe Novak when he was a Husky. And you think they want to get back to that identity? They have 19 rushing yards in this game. And remember, this is a team that is second in the MAC in rush yards per game. Yeah, averaging over 200 yards a game on the ground. I do, Courtney. I think if you're NIU, you don't want to look at the scoreboard because that, that can be a bit deceiving. It can also take your, your eyes off your game plan. The game plan for NIU coming in was going to be time of possession and running the football. Yet they've thrown it a lot. Nevin Kremaskoli continues to stay in this game at quarterback. He airs it out and picks up the first down pass complete to Tristan Tavis, the tight end. Trey Jones and Justin Whiteside in coverage. We have Correct. seen Kremaskoli in since the first series. But Justin Lynch coming back in at quarterback now? Yeah, Lynch is going to come back in. And I, I actually said to you during the break, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen Lynch at quarterback. Actually, no, that no, oh, it's Harrison Whaley at the Wildcat. I'm sorry, excuse me. I, yeah, they'll go Wildcat. They'll use both running backs to do that. And there's a flag coming out. Maybe a false start on NIU, and it's... Right to the snap, false start, number 60, offense, five-yard penalty, first down. Oh, I'll tell you, CMU's lucky because they had a convoy out to the right side. And you'll see it on the left side of your screen. I mean, you look at everybody. You got five, six guys <laughs> leading the way here for this potential run, and it's going to bring it back to make it first and 15. And they flip out of the Wildcat, too, and yeah, back to Coley back. Yeah. He has Harrison Whaley with him. Man in motion is Rukowitz. 
He's looking towards Rukowitz. Well, that was close. The Javion Stepney got there pretty quickly. Uh, the NIU faithful are not happy because there was contact, but I think it was a bang bang play. On slow motion, looks like he gets there just a little bit early. And with the officials right there for the no call. Are you surprised we haven't seen Justin Lynch in at quarterback? He started yeah. the game, and then it's been Nevin Cre uh, Kremascoli the rest of the time. And we haven't gotten word that there's an injury to Lynch. Over the Oof. top and just short of the intended target, Fabian McRae. Third down. It's the first throw tonight that Kremascoli's uh, had that just had no chance. I mean, that's just a ground ball. Trying to find McCray on the outside. Kremaskoli four for 13 tonight. He's overthrown a couple of guys, but he has short in yeah. the ground. Now third and 15, an obvious passing situation. Trying to set up the screen. Kremaskoli stepping up, tucking it and running just past the 45 yard line into Central Michigan territory before Ronald Kent Jr. met him. Now they could decide to potentially go for this here, Courtney. It's going to be fourth and about five -ish. They're over two on fourth down tonight. Offense staying on the field right now. I, I Listen, I, I could eat my words on this, but I, I would punt this football and try to pin CMU back. Whaley, he's got him. But he's short, short of the first down. I, I just think with a freshman quarterback in the fact that it's fourth and five, so you've got to throw the football. It, it, if I'm NIU, I, I would have punted that and relied on my defense. Instead, Central Michigan's going to have excellent field position now for the fourth time tonight when we come back. This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is... Philadelphia Cheesecake. Mm. Mm. Cheesecake is everything. Make your own. Laundry truce. The bargain jug. That's a huge jug of detergent. Yeah. Isn't it a bargain? You know that bargain detergent is 85% water, right? Really? It's this much water. So I'm just paying for watery soap. That's why. I use Tide Pods. They're super concentrated, so... I'm paying for clean, not water. Bingo. Don't pay for water. Pay for clean. It's got to be Tide Pods. This week is your chance to try any Subway footlong for free. Like the Subway series menu. Just buy any footlong in the app and get one free. Free monsters, free bosses, any footlong for free. This guy loves a great offer. So let's see some hustle. You want to launch the world's largest streaming channel in over 40 countries all in one go. You want to bring banking to millions of people who've never used a bank. Whew, that's a doozy. You want to make grocery stores without checkouts. You're selling fashion for who? Avatars. Buy a car with a text? No. Absolutely not. It's enough. What is happening Are here? you crazy? Strong players' faces when they're asleep. Mm. Coach, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. It happened again. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. <laughs> Starburst, unexplainably juicy. We're told that success is all about making on your own. But the truth is, Need some help? Come on, get in. nothing great gets done alone. That's why there's Shopify. With Shopify, you can set up your online store, you can sell on social media, or you can sell in person with our point of sale system. It doesn't have to be lonely at the top. Join the millions defining success on their own terms. Start your journey with a free trial today. Maction on a Wednesday. 
Northern Illinois hosting Central Michigan. Courtney Lyle, Dustin Fox with you. And Central Michigan, they've used a couple quarterbacks. Northern Illinois has used a couple quarterbacks. But Central Michigan with two touchdowns. Recently, Dustin, we've seen Daniel Richardson. He's kind of stayed in there the most at quarterback for the Chippewa. He's actually played well tonight. He's been able to make some throws. And the one kind of variable that Central Michigan has not had this year is Lou Nichols. You know, having him back tonight, hasn't played in the last couple of weeks, has not really been 100% healthy at all since week one. And he's averaging almost five yards a carry tonight. That's kind of been the security blanket, I think, for Richardson, and it's allowed him to be more comfortable. And how about here? Richardson's going to come down bottom of your screen. Yeah, this is going to be Burt Emanuel for the first time all season. We are seeing him in at quarterback, so a third quarterback for Central Michigan takes it and immediately runs forward. We were told that we might see him. He's a true freshman out of Houston. You know, Emanuel, you may recognize that name, Burt Emanuel Jr., his father, Burt Emanuel Sr., the former great NFL wide receiver, and Emmanuel, who is just a freshman, you mentioned, Courtney, with four games remaining, we thought we might see him coming into this game because he can still redshirt. Now Chase Bauer comes in, so the third quarterback we've seen for the Chips. They have not been afraid to change quarterbacks during a series. Take the handoff to Nichols, and here goes Chase Bauer using his left. That's what he's best at. He's so good when he can run the football. He already has a rushing touchdown tonight. Steps out just inside the 20. This is just quarterback power off the, the left side. And you've got a convoy, Lou Nichols, out there trying to get a block. And there's a huge seam for Bauer to run through. And you can see the speed of Bauer and what he brings to this offense. Emmanuel back in at quarterback now, Dustin. He pulls it, keeping it himself. What does this do to a defense when you're seeing three guys <laughs> rotate in at quarterback? Well, I think if you're a Husky player or, or defensive coordinator, uh, Nick Benedetto, you are thinking, okay, if three or six teams in the game, we got to be aware of quarterback run. When Richardson's in the ball game, they're going to throw. Or hand it off to number seven. And Richardson does come back in the game. Lou Nichols is going to be in the backfield as well. And... You know, second and long. Three quarterbacks on this drive alone. Nichols to the 15. Coaching staff told us that they were going to not be afraid to rotate quarterbacks within a series. It was all about the situation. Who gave them the best opportunity to move the football forward on each play. That was the thought coming in tonight. Uh, Richardson's in the game. If, if you're looking for a top target right here in the red zone with Joel Wilson out of the ball game, look to the bottom of your screen. Carlos Carrier, that's who he looks to in the red zone. And number two in white. He's going up top. Throws one up to Tyson Davis. It's caught! Tyson Davis, his first catch of the season is a touchdown. Well, we added about six more wide receivers to our depth chart for this game. And how about this? Tyson Davis, the redshirt freshman, comes in the slot, runs a good route, and a really good throw. I'm telling you, for Richardson, he's kind of a momentum guy. That's what the coaching staff told us this week. He's off to a terrific start this game. Seven for ten. That's some high math right there. That's 70%? 70 How about that, partner? That's that volunteer education. That's right. The Chippewas coming to this game as an underdog. And they're up 21-0 on the road. Maction, baby. Life has never felt so expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? because he made the smart choice to shop with Ikea. Jamie hasn't stopped dancing since she left the store. With Ikea, you're caring for your wallet and each other and your guests and the planet. Now you can afford even more with new benefits for Ikea family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in store every visit, every day. Ikea. 
without the right start to your day, your morning could hit a wall. It's not the door. I got it. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits are baked with slow-release carbs and provide steady morning energy to help you rise and thrive. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know. But you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. What about this couch? It's awesome, but I'm just saddled with so much credit card debt right now. Dude, I need an upgrade card. It rolls all my monthly purchases into one easy installment loan so I can avoid stuff like that. Plus, I earn triple cash rewards. Where do I sign up? What about this guy? He's dead to me. Get your upgrade card at Upgrade.com. Projects, the projecting gaming arcade now with animated targets to blast on your wall. Swap slides for different targets, but stay sharp. They move fast. Projects is portable to play inside or out. Family gaming gets an upgrade. You can get the Projects 2 blaster set and TV exclusive sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. It's the projecting gaming arcade with animated targets that's a blast to play. It's Projects from NSI. Why pay over 100 bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want with all the entertainment you love for the price that cable can't be. Try free at FuboTV.com. Death Valley roars to life. First Saturday in November with this great rivalry. Alabama LSU, Saturday on ESPN. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, in theaters November 11th. NIU is favored in this game, but Central Michigan said, uh-uh, we're coming to your house. We're putting up 21 unanswered so far. And look, Sam is our uh, graphic czar, if you will, tonight. And he came up with this graphic, kind of foreshadowing the best win percentage in the midweek MAC games. Look at Central Michigan. Fire up chips. They like to play on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They come to play tonight. And now you will attempt to run this out. They take it to the 20. Okay. You're going to get a block. And there's a flag. In the back. Return team, 10 yard penalty, first down Northern Illinois. So NIU backs up. Want to remind you our week nine Monday night football matchup Lamar Jackson and the Ravens lead the AFC North by a game. They're out of New Orleans to take on Alvin Kamara and the Saints. Catch the game at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and the ESPN app. Manning cast on ESPN 2. Ground game, Ontario Brown. I think NIU, Courtney, they've got to just get points on the board here before halftime. And even if it, it, it involves going back to your game plan of running the football and, and you use five, six minutes of the clock, I, I just think you need something positive before halftime, before this game gets away from you. Now in Kremaskoli. Hands it off to Ontario Brown, and they do go back to that ground game. You know, we saw Justin Lynch start this game. He was the third string quarterback, was forced into action due to injuries for the first and second string. And now we've seen Nevin from Ascoli most of this game. Are you surprised that we haven't seen Justin Lynch since that first? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Lynch has, has more experience. I know he's more of a runner, and they feel like from Ascoli gives them a better chance in the pass game. But goodness, I mean, you're, you're down. 21 points already the game plan to me has has not worked for niu i, I would get, get lynch in there at least as a change of pace and try and get some points on the board he's also a threat with his legs to no question down. niu is one for six on third down and they're stopped here by central michigan justin whiteside boy this offense 
is just being stifled by the Chippewas defense. And, you know, we knew coming into this game that that front for Central Michigan is really, really good. And, you know, they're second in the nation in tackles for loss. Like, they're an excellent defense. That's what's kind of kept them in games this year because their offense has struggled so much, especially with all the injuries. Tom Foley on to punt. Christian Brown is back. That's a big one. Fair catch called for. And it will be the Chippewas ball when we come back. They have been dominant. 21 nothing, trying to add to it on the other side. For everyone from players to parents, football offers unlimited growth with even more to learn. Visit futureforfootball.com to get ahead of the game. Find out where to play, what equipment to use, and get the latest from leagues around the country, including pro tips and parental info from the experts. These resources make it easier than ever to create your plan and make your play. If you savor every saucy bite of your McRib like it's your last, you've properly prepared for the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. On a confrontational Fansville by Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> oh, what's up, guys? We want to talk to you about State not making the playoff. Yeah, tough season, but I'm fine. That's just it. You're not taking it hard enough. What? I'm upset. Why haven't you posted one insane rant on the message boards? I keep reliving the Southern game over and guys, over. It's just a game. A bunch of kids with the ball. Put down that Dr. Pepper. Maybe there's more to life. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Hi, I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grill Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. You can tell they actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce, marinated it. You're definitely getting a good grilled spicy sandwich. If you struggle with CPAP, you should check out Inspire. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Learn more and view important safety information at inspiresleep.com. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know. But you just asked the whole universe. The humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Did you know you can save with GoodRx, even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance. And I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. Okay, we'll see you next time. Another good reason to check GoodRx. So far, I've raised my credit score 39 points. 127 points. Over 100 points using Self. I would recommend Self to everyone. It feels really good. You should try it. <laughs> And sometimes you see some wild things in action on Wednesday nights, like three quarterbacks on one drive. <laughs> That's something I don't think I've ever seen in a college football game. Three different quarterbacks all taking snaps and providing production, frankly, on that last drive. We saw Daniel Richardson. We saw Jace Bauer come in for the long rush. And then Burt Emanuel Jr. And he's in right now. Okay, here we go. So a total of five quarterbacks in this game, two for NIU, three. For That's all? That's it. Okay. Usually, we might see, usually you have to. And, and we might see more. Those three quarterbacks were able to put together a touchdown drive for Central Michigan to give them this 21-0 lead on their last drive as Bert Emanuel falls forward past the 40 to the 41-yard line, still in chip territory. Central Michigan out gaining in total yards, NIU 210 to 91. 
And you just look at the yards per play. Central Michigan averaging 7.2 to 3.3 of NIU. They have just not been able to do anything offensively for the Huskies. Richardson handing off to Lou Nichols, and he's got the first down. Pick up a four on the play. You know, the Central Michigan offense on the season, Courtney, they average only 25 points a, a, a game. So this is a, a great start for the Chippewas. Very different game, too, than we yeah. saw when these two teams met last year. Richardson deep and overthrows his intended target of Fen Hogan. Remember, this was a one-point game last year. When trust two trust me, I, I called that game yeah. in Mount Pleasant. It was a fun one to call. As we go back and take a look at what the chips have done on the ground. Jace Bauer, the quarterback, that's a pretty good average, huh? And Lou Nichols, great to finally see him back in action, doing a good job, averaging over four yards a pop. And, you know, for an offense that really has not been able to have a lot of depth at the running back position, that, that's a breath of fresh air. And, and certainly, I think it, it's given life to this offense here in this early part of the first half. Yeah, he has been critical for what Central Michigan has been able to do tonight. Most of, most of his runs, though, straight up the middle, all of them, and that time, NIU made the adjustment. Ray Thomas. I think the ball may have come out there, Courtney. Yeah, NIU's got it. Nick Routine comes out with the football. Routine pulls the football out and recovers it himself as Nichols is going to the ground. Now, this would be a good look right here to see if a knee's down. And no, I, I think Routine just, that's, a, yeah, that's an wow. absolute takeaway for the Huskies Ooh. and exactly maybe what this Ooh. offense Ooh. needs because the offense hasn't had good field Ooh. position at all this night. And again, turnovers have Ooh. crushed the Chippewas this season. Ooh. Now, this is their tw 20th turnover of the year. And their second of the night, they threw an interception earlier on in the game. Okay, here you go, Dustin. Justin Lynch in at quarterback. I like the decision. And you can run the football here. you got plenty of time, four minutes to go. Haven't seen him since the first series for NIU in the first quarter. He does run it, picks up two, takes it to the 40. Boy, well, Moretti. The linebacker, 22 for the Chippewas, just is running around like his hair's on fire. And he's got that little neck neck roll. This you is watch, just a yeah. football player, just, right? Just watch him. Yeah. He runs down the line of scrimmage and right away cuts inside when he sees the lane and makes the stop for a two-yard game. Uh, he popped off on film to me. I mean, I just saw him immediately, number 22, popped out. He's, the coaches told us the game is important to him, and he plays like it. Whaley. Oh! Oh. Uh, speaking of which, Kyle Moretti, boom! Wow. Heard that one up here. Typically, it's a little colder in DeKalb this time of year, and it, this would be very painful <laughs> for anybody, but that's a hit. That's the way you fill a hole as a linebacker. Gets off a block, gets low, drives his legs. That's two great plays back-to-back -back by Kyle Moretti. And he is their leading tackler on the season and now third down coming up. They're just one for seven tonight talking about NIU. Stopped. Ronald Kent Jr. They are glad that he is a Chippewa. Transferred in from Western Carolina to play with his brother Dante. What a story that is. And you'll see number two here on the outside just comes in. Makes a great tackle, shoelace type of tackle. And Ronald Kent, who was a really good player at Western Carolina, Dante went to the coaching staff and said, hey, you got to check out my brother. Like, he's really good. And like, nah, nah. Then they, they're like, okay, they look, looked into it. And then they took him. And yep. here they're starting now opposite each other at the FBS level. How cool is that? That's going to be a touchback.
This has been a good defensive team in the past. Last year, they were third in the MAC in total defense, finishing the season, giving up 363 rush, uh, total defense, total yards, excuse me, a game. You see where they rank this season. Tonight, 43 yards allowed. Whew. That is good. I think. And that's against a team that wants to <laughs> yeah. run the football. Oh, and they're one of the better teams in the entire country in terms of running the football. The NIU offense, second in the MAC, over 200 yards a game, 22nd in the nation. And this Chippewa defense has absolutely shut them down. Meanwhile, the offense has gone to work with numerous people at the quarterback position. This time it'll be Chase Bauer. First and 10 from the 20. They'll flip the formation. up about three on the play before he's met by Jaden Dolphin. I think Central Michigan is very content if this game goes to halftime up 21 zip with the way that they played and the way their defense is played. I mean, it's it's perfect. I mean, their offense has done just enough. The defense has put their their offense in opportune situations with field position. Richardson completes it to Finn Hogan. He started this game six for six, now two for six, two for his last six. And third down coming, third down at a yard at the 29. Central Michigan three for five on third down tonight. They've got Lou in there. You run him up the middle? Absolutely. I go right back to him. Even though he fumbled on that last carry, I, I still go right back to him here. They will. And he gets it. And Lou Nichols, e even with a, a banged up ankle at 5'11, 225 pounds, I, it's just the law of physics, right? I mean, that guy can run the football. Then the Huskies take the brunt of that collision. Well, there's a reason he led the country in rushing yards last year. Back to them he goes, picks up four to the 35. Look, too, the, the fact that he can play tonight keeps them from playing a safety at running back. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they were talking about uh, to Javion Stepney, the safety, who, who plays safety who's made some plays in this game, coming over and playing some running back. They keep it on the ground and let the clock go. James Esther meets Lou Nichols. I'd call timeout here if I'm NIU. Yeah, why not? You put him in third and long, and if you can get a stop here, I mean, you never know. Make him punt the football and go after it. Maybe you get a special teams turnover, a touchdown, something could, positive could happen here. First of the half, be a 30 second timeout. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to 45 seconds. Four or five on the game clock, please. Thank you. So time that is timeout is called. Well, I guarantee you Central Michigan's going to put the football on the ground here. Yeah. I, I, I cannot see them throwing the ball, taking a risk of a turnover. You make NIU burn their last time out, and you punt the ball away and try to get to halftime. <laughs> 45 seconds on the clock, Daniel Richardson. Ready to run this Chippewa offense. Balls at their own 32. And of course they do hand it off to Lou. He's short of the first down, but the clock still ticks. And I use gonna have to use that timeout if they want. And they will. 
Northern Illinois, their second of the half. Please reset the game clock to 40 seconds. 4-0, please. So while they take the timeout, want to let you know here's our next UFC fight night Saturday from the Apex in Las Vegas with our women's strawweight main event. Prelims start at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific, followed by the main card at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ESPN+. Plus. To get ESPN+, Plus, go to ESPNBlessed.com or download the ESPN app. All right, so Central Michigan obviously going to have to punt here in, in IU. Have around 40 seconds, maybe a little less, obviously, to work with. Try to get some I, kind yeah, of I, I don't know what they're going to try to do offensively here if they get the ball back. I, I definitely think that I would be going after this punt if you're the Huskies and trying to try get a block. I mean, try to get something to spark this, this game. Elzinga punting. Cole Tucker back for the Huskies. That's going to be a flag on NIU for jumping over the personal protector. Personal foul, number 37, receiving team, leaping the punch shield. It's a 15-yard penalty for the previous spot, automatic first down. All right, so that's interesting. Now, maybe Central Michigan, with their three timeouts, try to push the ball down the field a little bit. At least maybe a couple plays, because NIU had no timeouts left. And you're going to have the football inside NIU territory here. I remember the one thing that's kind of kind of been an issue is is the kicking game. So Central doesn't really have a great kicking situation from a field goal standpoint. But maybe maybe you can. NIU has one timeout left. Yeah, one timeout. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said yeah. they had none. Oh, one timeout. Yeah. Sorry. I may have said zero. <laughs> There's Bauer. And he sticks to the ground game. To the 42 in NIU territory. And clock running, NIU not trying to stop it. Well, take a shot. A place to go, yeah. Well, if anything, why not just take one heave towards the end zone here? But well, wouldn't you put Richardson in to do that? I would, yeah. I, I, I would put Richardson in the game and send everybody down and, and take a Hail, Hail Mary. Why not? What do you have to lose? And Bauer's going to stay in. And again, he's known for his legs. Daniel Richardson, one of the other quarterbacks, is known to have the better arm. Uh, in NIU, they're not really worried about the Hail Mary. They've got defenders at, at the normal depth. Nichols. As to his stats. And a great first half for Central Michigan. There's still one second oh, wow. on the clock. Oh, so maybe they are going to take an attempt here. Now remember Marshall Meter, who has really struggled with PATs this year. This will be a 51-yard field goal attempt. For Marshall Meter, he hit a 52-yard field goal in their last game. His career high is 53. He's got the leg. Oh, just short, I think. Just short. Yep. Almost, but still... Jim Ma McElwain's crew is going to take a 21-0 lead into the locker room. That's one thing I didn't see. I, I thought this game was going to be low scoring, but I thought it was going to be really tight, a tight contested ball game. And, hey, listen, give the Chippewas credit. They were able to do just enough offensively, and really their defense deserves most of the credit. They have shut down NIU's rushing attack tonight. Yeah, only 43 rushing yards for NIU, a team that's second in the match in that category it has been all central michigan with all three quarterbacks working for the chippewas tonight they take a big lead into the locker room here in dekalb
This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is Philadelphia Cheesecake. Cheesecake is everything. Make your own. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know. But you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Introducing hey, the hey, all hey. pro passer robotic quarterback. Just pump, press, and pass. Hey, Slam, hey. post, short, long. All pro passer has nine different passing zones so you can run hundreds of plays. Hey, hey, hey. And it can launch the ball over 25 yards. It's perfect for any park or backyard. You can get your all pro passer and a TV bonus sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $8.99 processing and handling. Batteries hey, not hey, included. Hey. Must be 18 or over to order only from NSI. Explore your passions. Turn dreams into realities. Get involved, connected. Bring your ideas, innovations, and artistry to life. Where your education is affordable. Where you can make a difference. Where you are welcomed, inspired, and challenged. Where you can be a Husky. It all begins with a visit to NIU. Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you want to win a conference championship, if you want to win a national championship. Now keep your hands up if you're willing to wake up 4.30 in the morning for mandatory workouts, if you're willing to put student first. So I'll ask you, are you willing to compete? Are you willing to execute? And are you willing to be a leader? Are you ready? Oh, hey, it's a Donovan's. You know, legend has it, the Donovan's had a barbecue that fed half a town. You know what I heard? They drove cross country just to walk their dog. The Apparently, they climbed a mountain to save some wild horses. That's what they say. That's what they say. Toyota, let's go places. His name is legendary. Now, see how it all began. You decided on a name yet? Rocky Jr. Little Chief? Rocky II. Rocky My Via. Any of those except Rocky IV. Catch up on seasons one and two on Peacock before the new season premieres on NBC. Eat your vitamins. Because there's no such thing as too much rock. Oh. Feels like home. Young Rock season three, Friday, on NBC. And seasons one and two streaming on Peacock. Halftime report, and we've all had about 24 hours to digest the first college football playoff rankings. And if you're a Tennessee fan, you can't see this enough. For the first time in the history of the playoff era, the Vols find themselves at number one in any week of the rankings. But of course, this isn't the week you want to be one. You want to be number one at the end. Trevor Maddox, Zuba Mahenti back inside. Let's take a look holistically at the top six of the playoff rankings, the four that are in and the two teams that are in the best position on the outside looking in to sneak in. Who really catches your eye? Michigan at number five, Zuba, means they've lost their margin for error. Instead of having two ways to go, win out and then maybe lose a close one to Ohio State, but win the rest of their games and be a second Big Ten team, mm. now they have to beat Ohio State because at number five, if they lose to the Buckeyes later in the season, they won't have enough juice in the rest of their schedule to get them into the top four. No question. What do you think about Tennessee and Alabama here? Well, I think Tennessee and Alabama – uh, are, are in two different places. I mean, Tennessee at number one still has two ways to get in. They could lose to Georgia in a close one, still get in. Alabama, they don't have any choice. They have got to win out. And then you look at Georgia. Georgia at number three. This is not disrespectful for the Bulldogs, but they will see it that way, and they will use it as fuel for the rest of the season. They're justified. They're number one in the AP and the defending national champions. What to watch for? It's the huge game. This is the biggest college football game of the season to date, Treb, there is no doubt about it. It'll be between the hedges and a huge, huge amount of stakes on the line. Good on good. The Tennessee offense against the Georgia defense. And the key for Tennessee here will be to continue to get their wide receivers deep on those vertical routes. If they can't get behind the Georgia safeties, they'll have to go to shorter routes and more of the run, and Georgia's defense will chew them up down low. I mean, the idea that Tennessee would have knocked off LSU, Alabama, and now Georgia would be something. They're led, of course, by their prolific offense, top three in all these categories. Trevor mentioned 
how solid the Georgia defense is, despite having 15 players taken in the NFL draft. Their defense seems to be no worse for wear. As Kreb said, it's good on good. Hendon Hooker, good word to describe him, has been good. He's been excellent. He's a Heisman front runner, but there is another quarterback in this game. Yeah, I had to look that up. I yeah. thought Hendon Hooker was going to play for both sides, but Stetson Bennett of Georgia is also one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and it is the small things that he does that leads to the big things that enable him to be so effective. Now, he'll hand this ball off, and this defender will have a tackle for loss. The guy on the edge will come in and help him out, but wait! The ball is actually tucked into the belt of Stetson Bennett. Small thing that leads to something big. This defender saying to his buddy, why are you here? The ball's out there. But he was completely fooled because of how excellent that deception was. Now, same thing with managing the game, pre-snap and after the snap. Bennett reads the blitz coming off the edge. There's a problem though, Zubin, because it's not a blitz. They fake it, then they drop out and they only rush three. So does this make Bennett short circuit after the snap? Nah, he just goes to plan B. Now let's look at this again because there's some cool things happening. The first is watch Bennett's left hand. Okay. He will actually direct his receiver to come on back. He just changes the route. This is what I want you to do. But now he steps into that throw as if there were no pressure at all. Mm. But that pressure is there. Mm. And you talk about courage. That's the kind of thing that inspires his teammates. And he's earned this. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you go, Stetson. But when everything breaks down, and he just has to drop his cape and make a play with no help at all. He can do it. He does stuff like this all the time. It's just that he doesn't get as much credit for it as guys that look more awesome in their uniform. So, yeah, Hendon Hooker, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, if not the best. But Stetson Bennett is up there in that top tier. It's going to be amazing to see what happens. There are many people that thought after last year's championship it would be a perfect walk-off moment for him. He said, no way. I'm coming back for more. It's been incredible. A reminder, Dr. Pepper won final team. That's what we're moving towards. You can vote for that as we hit the end of the season, and you can do so using the hashtag one final team. One more visit for the college game day crew to see Tennessee. Reese had said, talk to Josh Heupel last night. We're seeing you like every week. They'll see him between the hedges Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And we're back on the halftime report to talk about that other big SEC game Saturday. Life is expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? Because he made the smart choice to shop with IKEA. With new benefits for IKEA family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in store. Every visit, every day. IKEA. For every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? You have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. How did they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. <laughs> Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Hi, folks. This is important. It's the Medicare annual enrollment period when you find out if your Medicare Advantage plan will change coverage and benefits for all of next year. Fact is, your prescription and dental benefits, your co-pays, and your doctor network can be different than your current coverage. Call the free Medicare coverage helpline to confirm if you will have the same coverage next year. Plus, you can check to see if your plan has any new options like the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. I call every year to see if my dental benefits changed, make sure my co-pays won't go up, and that my doctor is still covered. I call to see if I'm eligible for a plan that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call to make sure my doctors are still on my plan. Folks, it's simple. One, call the number at the bottom of your screen. Two, check the changes to your coverage and see if your zip code has a new plan with lower co-pays, better prescription and dental coverage, and the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Three, 
You'll find out the changes to your coverage and what Medicare plans you're now eligible for. Call and get what you deserve. I call to make sure my plan's co-pays won't go up. I call to see if I'm eligible for a plan that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call to find a plan with lower co-pays and more dental coverage. I call every year to make sure my doctor is still in my plan. Call to find out the changes to your coverage and what you're now eligible for. Millions of people have called the Medicare Coverage Helpline. You should, too. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. Call 1-800-262-9641. That's 1-800-262-9641 now. This big Saturday, take a look at some of the matchups right where North Carolina sits. Can they run the table and maybe see Clemson in the ACC title game if it gets that far? Big game in the Pac-12 as well if SC can keep on track. And obviously, the really big one on this screen, Saturday night, ESPN, 7 Eastern time between Alabama and LSU. The latter of whom, by the way, if they win, were to control their destiny in the SEC West. And they got some pass receivers that are really a sight to behold. They are fantastic. I mean, when you think of receivers in college football as a group, you think Ohio State, right? You think USC. But LSU has one of the best receiving rooms in the country. And Jaden Daniels, a quarterback, has done a better job of getting the ball close to those guys than by Malik Neighbors and, and Kayshawn Booty and others. It goes about five, six deep of guys that will be in the NFL. So the LSU receiving core gives the Tigers the advantage over Alabama at that group. Yeah, Booty was banged up most of last year. Speaking of advantage at the quarterback position, I think it's easily Alabama. Yeah, it absolutely is. And he has been carrying this team on his back. I mean, his, his back must hurt from that reason. And the fact that he takes so many hits because his receivers, bless their hearts, are last in the SEC in terms of drops. The most drops in the SEC. And out of 131 teams in college football, only seven have dropped more passes than the Alabama pass catchers. And so this is where this game, I think, will be won and lost. Which receiver group can be more effective and make the fewest mistakes? Quick 15 seconds here on the other quarterback. We talked about this the other night. Jaden Daniels the last couple of weeks has really impressed you. So much better than he was before. The, the first part of the season, he wasn't able to engage those wide receivers. The coaches have learned what he does best, and he's gotten him engaged better so that the receivers are a part of the game. He's still not Bryce Young. But he's good enough that the receivers are now a force that they were not earlier in the season. I think we all know Alabama on multiple occasions has won the whole thing. LSU broke through to win it all in 2019. And no different in 2022. Everybody chasing the same goal. One of the most difficult things to do, so what if I do, what if I don't follow your is deal with success. Sometimes when you win, you lose respect for winning. But really, what you lose respect for is what it takes to win. You have to perform under great pressure repeatedly, and momentum's a very powerful thing. This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is Philadelphia Cheesecake. Cheesecake is everything. Make your own. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. On an angsty fansville by Dr. Pepper. Wow, Dr. Pepper's zero sugar? Yeah, 
Stole from my parents. Oh, you think you took Cordigent regular Dr. Pepper? Derek. I bet you think it tastes good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. It's delicious. I told you. What's wrong about you, bro? It's OK. I think I was projecting my insecurities on your soda. Derek, you're oversharing. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. When the details take precedence, the rest falls perfectly into place. We strip away everything but the essential. And what we're left with are thoughtful bedrooms for modern living. Thuma. Remember when you used to get stickers for doing something good? What if you got Bitcoin? With Upgrade Card, you can. You can get 1.5% back in Bitcoin on payments. Upgrade rolls all your monthly purchases into one easy installment loan. Get started at Upgrade.com. Open up to Tommy John this holiday season. Choose feature-packed underwear and intimates to upgrade your day every day. You know me. I'm all about my Try them now risk-free with our best pair guarantee and experience what confidence feels like. Go to TommyJohn.com now and get 25% off site-wide. Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you want to win a conference championship, if you want to win a national championship. Now keep your hands up if you're willing to wake up 4.30 in the morning for mandatory workouts, if you're willing to put student first. So I'll ask you, are you willing to compete? Are you willing to execute? And are you willing to be a leader? Are you ready? Dominate this season with NBA League Pass on DirecTV. Catch the action with up to 40 out-of-market games a week. Extraordinary plays. Colossal dunks. Your favorite players and teams. Stream on your favorite devices. And run the floor with even more coverage from NBA TV and videos on demand. Watch up to eight games on one screen. Amazing! Order NBA League Pass today on DirecTV. It's not a pizza, it's a milk, and for six ninety nine, it's just for you. Central Michigan, welcome to DeKalb. They are up 21-0 as we get set to start the third quarter here at Huskies Stadium. A little midweek maxion for you, Courtney Lyle and Dustin Fox. And wow, impressive. A shutout in the first half. What did you see from Central Michigan? Oh, the CMU defense came to play. You look at the scoreboard, 21-0. All 21 points came after turnover on downs by NIU. NIU 0 for 3 on fourth down. Wow, it's been impressive. And they've done all that mm -hmm. with three different quarterbacks working for Central Michigan. We've seen Jace Bauer, one of those. He's the guy that uses his legs. Yeah, we certainly have. You never in the game see three different quarterbacks, but Bauer does bring that added element of being able to run the football. And that's what they've been lacking throughout the season. Then they bring in the freshman, Burt Emanuel, Jr. And then they come back with Richardson, throws the dime down the middle to Joel Wilson for the touchdown. Joel Wilson does leave the game and had, it will not return, by the way. And then another nice touchdown throw to Tyson Davis, the redshirt freshman. His first career catch, by the way. And you look at the defense. It's just been so good shutting down this NIU rushing attack. They've not been able to get anything going on the ground, Courtney. Yeah, 43 rushing yards for NIU, a team that averages two, over 200 per game. They're second in the MAC in that category, but not tonight because of the Central Michigan defense. And not only have we seen three different quarterbacks for Central Michigan, they have rotated them on the same drive. So it's not just like they're rotating series. Look, you, sometimes when you're a two and six football team, you, you kind of just have to throw something against the wall and see what sticks. Is and, it sticking? And I think it's sticking, yeah. And, and again, their defense has allowed them to be able to make these decisions and, and they've had the opportunities. They've been there and when they've got them, they've made the most of them. So Chippewas will get the opening kickoff here in the third quarter to try to add to this 21 point lead. 
Chip's gonna run it out. It's Stepney. Past the 25 yard line for Jadavian Stepney. And we talked about those turnover on downs the defense has provided. Look at that. Three different times they've gone for it on fourth down, and there's the result. Touchdowns for the chips. Yeah, it also helps, too. It puts you in great field position for your offense. No doubt. It, work. And it's really helped Central Michigan because, remember, they turned the ball over twice in that first half and still have a 21-0 lead. Yeah, an interception and a fumble, but NIU couldn't do anything with it. Jace Bauer is going to get the start here in the third quarter, and he completes his first pass, and it's Kate Connolly, the target. This is a really nice throw by Bauer on the move. He's able to set his feet and deliver the strike. I mean, the, the first half yeah. he really established himself. He was going to run. He was going like to yeah. run in the air. I, I didn't you know, really see him much as a passer. Nichols again. Pick up a three on the play. Stopped by Jaden Dolphin. I would see a heavy dose of Lou Nichols in this second half as, as you've got a 21 nothing lead and good point Courtney Daniel Richardson now comes back in at quarterback they started this game six for six through the air to the 45 yard line Stepney, first him get a carry. Now, Stepney started this game at the safety position. We yeah. knew that he was going to also play running. See him in the first half, but here he is. Hey, the coaches told us he doesn't need reps in practice at running back. He's just got a knack with the football in his hands to make something happen. And so here he is. He had a carry last week against Bowling Green, and now carry tonight. Well, this time last year, he was redshirting as a running back. They felt like they had depth, mm -hmm. so they moved him to the safety position coming into this season. Conley again. Oh, that's close, Courtney. Right at the line to gain. C.J. Brown was there. Yeah, they're rolling him short of the first down. What do you think? I mean, Lou Nichols has shown the ability to basically just fall forward for two yards every time he gets the ball. Uh, so I would probably just hand the ball off here, but I can you can make the argument for as well as in a, in a, or excuse me Central Michigan's uh, defense has played you, I mean with the 21 nothing lead you could pin him inside the 10 and say go 90 yards good luck First time tonight that Central Michigan will go for it on fourth down Jace Bauer. He got it. Week. Oh, Easily. yes, he did Easily. and then some How about the push here by this offensive line just blowing the Huskies off the ball. And again, Jace Bauer, 6'3", 215 pounds, is that's a big man. Back to Daniel Richardson with Lou Nichols to his left. Again, as you mentioned, no Joe, Joel Wilson. He was injured on that touchdown catch in the first half. He will not be available in the second half for Central Michigan. He's one of their main targets through the air, leads them in touchdown catches on the season with six. He got banged up before this play and then came back in the game, caught this pass from Daniel Richardson, scored a touchdown, and then had to be helped off the field. It looked like he was grabbing that left ankle, couldn't put pressure on it and he will not return, which is a really big loss for this Chippewa's offense. We've already seen they've gone to Kate Conley twice, one of their other tight ends. Richardson jumps it off. It was dropped by Lou Nichols. And Nichols just didn't seem to be comfortable where he was on the field catching that football, was probably thinking about the defender coming in. And again, he's not even close to 100%, but he's such a tough, competitive dude that he wants to be out here with his guys. Did not dress the last two games. He was injured October 8th against Ball State. This is a guy that led the nation in rushing yards last year. Third and eight in NIU territory, but just barely. Pass tipped up into the air. Oof, that was a very dangerous throw by Daniel Richardson. That n was nearly intercepted by really the field is an incomplete Dolphin. Forward pass, fourth down. I think Dolphin got a hand on it. He too. did get a hand on Could it. Absolutely. It 
Take a look, 26 right here, puts his paws up in the air. He does get that right hand on it. And that's a, a really big stop for the Huskies. They've got to find a way to get points. And I don't know the answer. Maybe it's to go back to Lynch. We saw them go back to yeah. him towards the end of the second quarter. This punt goes out of bounds. Well, we'll see what NIU has come up with in the locker room. Can they get some offense going? Only 94 total yards in the first half for the Huskies. For every holiday, for everyone, Ritz, a taste of welcome. I'm on a mission to talk to people about getting screened for colon cancer and hear their reasons why. I screened for my son. I'm his biggest fan. If you're 45 or older at average risk, you have screening options like Cologuard. Cologuard is non-invasive and finds 92% of colon cancers. It's not for those at high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider if Cologuard is right for you. Everyone has a reason to screen for colon cancer. If you're 45 or older, get started at missiontoscreen.com. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are mighty annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. How did they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know. But you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. Every 15 seconds, our professional monitoring agents receive a call for help. Police are on their way. They use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture evidence and verify a threat is real so you can get faster police response. Because in here, your safety is the only thing that matters. Advanced home security, 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Laser X, the number one home laser tag game on the planet. Join Team Red, Blue, or whatever color you choose. The Revolution Blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new Micro Blasters built in receiver, you can play Blaster to Blaster. The ultra long range blaster has the longest range of any Laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you blast multiple opponents at once. You can get the Micro Blaster double set for $29.99, and shipping is free. Batteries not included, extra blasters sold separately, plus the 18 year older to older. Hurricane. Sebastian Ajo stays red hot. The showcase of young guns. Sunday on ESPN. That is hockey. Well, this season, for every field goal and extra point made by participating universities, Allstate will make a contribution to the university's general scholarship fund. Thank you, Allstate. Back here in DeKalb, Illinois. A little midweek action for you. Courtney Lyle, Dustin Fox, and NIU back on offense. Looking for their first points in this game. Just 94 total yards in the first half. Nevin Kremascoli has taken over the quarterback duties for the majority of this game after Justin Lynch got the start, but played that first series, and we've only seen him one other time. First season we've seen Nevin, who's a preferred walk-on for NIU. This is Harrison Whaley. His best run of the night to the 35. Uh, it looked like this was going to get out the gates for Harrison Whaley. Still a, a really nice run. Probably the, probably the most explosive play they've had on the ground so far. And he cuts back. Really, Ronald Kent, number two, does a terrific job kind of holding his leverage and forcing it back inside to his teammates. Otherwise, if that gets out the gate, that could have been a house call. Longest run of the night for Whaley, who's third in the MAC in rushing yards per game. They give it to him again. He's got another good break. Short of the first down. 
Stopped by Dejavion Stepney, who was just running the football on offense for Central Michigan. Yeah, and obviously we're talking about a, a freshman quarterback starting this game because Rocky Lombardi is, is injured, and he's kind of week to week, has played sparingly, played against Eastern Michigan, the big win for NIU, but not available tonight. Yeah. Oh, how about that pressure Press by goalie, yeah. Whiteside? Justin Whiteside all up in his grill. Look, Rocky Lombardi was the no doubt clear cut starter for NIU coming in. He was injured against Vanderbilt on September 17th, missed about a month, had to come back in in that Eastern Michigan game because their other backup quarterback, Ethan Hampton, went out mm -hmm. with an injury. But that was his last appearance back on October 15th. Third down, NIU one for eight. Oh, great effort. They got it. Yeah. That's Shamar Thornton. Yeah, Thornton's going to catch this ball short of the line to gain. And it looked like he's going to be stopped short. And then because of his extra effort here to turn up field and extend the football, it's going to keep this drive alive for the Huskies. Look, too, Shamar Thornton, he can throw the football. He's two for two this season. Not a high school quarterback, no. but they've used him. He, he's a gadget guy. No, 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 uh, no question about that. In this game, who knows what's going to happen. Whaley. Fumbled it, I think. No, he didn't. Excuse me. It looked like the ball came out for a minute there. And he takes it to the 50. But again, you know, you're getting five yards of carry here, on at least on this drive with, with Harrison Whaley. I, I think you, st you keep coming back to the run game. That's the identity yeah. of this offense. No, no right? doubt. And, and again, if you're averaging over 200 yards a game on the ground, why so many throws in this game? You don't need to. I mean, you, look, you've got great running backs, and, and you can get back in this game. There's the, plenty of time left. They're the only team in the MAC that has two rushers in the top 10 in yards per game. Shamar Thornton, a big time pickup to the 27. Uh, he's finally starting to get healthy, Courtney, and you can see it right there. You get the ball in the hands of your playmakers, good things happen. And the coaching staff felt like Thornton's going to have more of an increased role this week in the offense, and, and there he is. A 23-yard pickup. This by far is the best drive no for question. NYU. Deepest into Central Michigan territory they have been in. Whaley looking for any kind of room he can take, running with a purpose here. Just watch the balance and the agility and, and really footwork of Whaley. Whaley just cuts back and then kind of sticks that foot in the ground, keeps the defense on his toe, on their toes. They let him work. He works to the 10-yard yeah. line. Just inside of it at the 9 is the, where they mark it. Something looks different about this NIU offense out of the locker room. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're giving the ball to Whaley, and <laughs> away he goes. Oh, Sorry. goodness. I had to. Is that too corny? Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks for that. You got it. Pistol looks still with Whaley behind Kremiscoli. They pop it up to Messiah Travis. Nothing on that play. Justin Whiteside blew it up. Yeah, that thing was sniffed out from the beginning. Again, I mean, you're, you've now backed up in third and long. And this is a drive where you've got to come away with six. The Huskies have been good in the red zone this year. Kremiscoli with pressure in his face, lets this fly, and flags fly, too, as he was looking for Rukowitz. Excuse me, McRae. They're going to get Sims for pass interference, and NIU's going to get bailed out. And, and this ball's a little bit underthrown because Moretti applied the pressure on Kremiscoli. And, and that's pass interference, interference, number eight, defense. By rule, the ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Well, that is huge. Watch Moretti's going to come in here and pressure the quarterback. That's going to force this throw to be thrown short. 
Boy, good luck blocking Moretti. It's a scary dude. Yeah, and then see the ball. Yeah, you, you know what? I think they just got tangled up, Courtney. The second look, yeah, I think they I think they just kind of tripped each other up. Well, that's huge for NIU. Oh, wow, dropped. John Wesley Whiteside, get him. Can't block him. Watch 13. He is just in the backfield, completely blows. Schernitz off the ball, excuse me, Nolan Potter off the ball, 69, and gets in the backfield for a big tackle for loss. And just keep tacking on those TFLs for the defense that nearly leads the nation in tackles for loss. Yes, yeah, second in that category coming into the game with 71. They had 106 last year. Second and goal, pistol look. From the scoring, rolling, connecting to Liam Sorhan. It is a touchdown for NIU. They've been looking for it all night. We didn't see a drive like that at all in the first half from NIU. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. And you'll see him roll outside the pocket. I don't know how he makes that throw. Goodness. There's a flag down on the field as well. Did he get this in? Yes. I think it breaks the play. Yeah, no, that, yeah. that's a touchdown, yeah. yeah. But there's a flag maybe after the play. After the play was over. Unsportsmanlike light conduct. Number four, defense. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. That's number four's first unsportsmanlike light of the game. We will do the try. That's Dante Kent. That was an 11-play, 80-yard drive that took up just over five minutes for NIU. Back to the ground they went. That is their identity. That is what Thomas Hammock wants to do with his football team, the former running back at NIU himself. Oh, that was a textbook drive for the Huskies and really exactly what they needed. And as we talked about, I mean, all the points for Central have come off of turnover on downs. So you just think about that. I mean, it's not like they're not in the game, but because they've gone for it and, and not converted three times on fourth down, Central's had short fields. Flags out again. Disconcerting signals, number 13. You have to distance to the goal where we try. <laughs> we just had a conversation with our replay officials before the game about the disconcerting uh, signals. We saw it last night in the Ohio Buffalo game, yep. yeah. Listen, anything the defense does, whether it be clapping their hands together, yelling something out, whether they're trying to draw them off sides or create a false start, whatever, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Even they're, if they're not trying yeah, to do that. Correct. I mean, the last thing, the, the uh, Ohio game, the Ohio defender was just trying to, to get his uh, teammates' attention. Yeah. And they got flagged. NIU had 94 total yards in the first half. They just went 80 yards on one drive to open up the third quarter. So the Huskies, well, they couldn't do anything in the first half. All of a sudden, come out here in the second half. What do they do? They get back to what they do best. They run the football. They go 11 plays down the field, back in the game. Why Ted's lucky jersey is really just a dirty jersey. Presented by me, Clay Matthews. What is Clay Matthews doing in my house? Here's you wiping tears of joy with it after a win. I am never washing you. Your wife tells me these are complete strangers? You're drooling, Ted? And here it is in the delivery room of your daughter's birth. Ew, Dad. Melissa, how old are you again? I'm 13. 13 years, Ted. Honey, I love you, but it's time to wash that jersey. Deeply. When Clay Matthews says it, it makes so much sense. It's dirtier than it looks. It's got to be Tide Hygienic Clean. 
Yo, my name is Luis, and the little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the different flavors that are hitting your mouth at every millisecond. You get the explosion and the zestiness of the chicken, then that spice just kicks in, and if you had that cilantro lime, perfection. Jake from State Farm, I really want that personal price plan, so I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? Jazz bath? Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is Philadelphia cheesecake. Cheesecake is everything. Make your own. You want to launch the world's largest streaming channel in over 40 countries all in one go. You want to bring banking to millions of people who've never used a bank. Whew, that's a doozy. You want to make grocery stores without checkout. You're selling fashion for who? Avatars. Avatars. By a car with a text? No. Absolutely not. It's a no. What is happening Are here? you crazy? If you savor every saucy bite of your McRib like it's your last, you've properly prepared for the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Pressure points on your bed can cause aches and stiffness, especially in your shoulders and hips. Only Dormeo features patented pressure point relief technology tailored to properly support your shoulders and hips. Head to Dormeo.com now to find out how you can get a better night's sleep. Well, here's this week's featured SEC college football game. Mike the Tiger better be ready. Bryce Young at number six, Alabama, coming to town to square off against Jaden Daniels and number 10, LSU. Big time SEC West matchup coverage begins Saturday night at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ESPN and the app. We saw the first uh, CFP playoff rankings released yesterday. Alabama at number six. What do you think about that spot for the Tide? I think it doesn't matter at this point in time because they control their own destiny. If they win out, they're going to be in the college football playoff. I think Tennessee deserves to be number one. To me, they've been the most impressive team so far this season. They've got a big meeting with Georgia on Saturday. They do. They do. Tennessee's got that win over Alabama, the only team in the country to take down the Tide. Well, NIU is coming off their best drive of the night. 11 plays, 80 yards, looked like a different team, went back to running the football. Yeah, that drive. Their identity. Right, I mean, on that drive, 11 plays, seven of those plays were runs. And, you know, getting the explosives on first down and second down is, is huge. And you see that last drive, I mean, that, they did nothing the entire first half. So I don't know what coach said at halftime, but it got him going. Looked totally different. So now how does Central Michigan respond? Jaden McGoy pass complete to the 43. Now that's a really good ball by Daniel Richardson. You see this. He just throws this right on the money. Pretty good coverage on the outside by Eric Rogers, but that ball's delivered perfectly. Richardson 10 for 16 completes another pass to Carlos Carrier. First time we've called Carrier's name tonight. Second. He's their leading receiver. He was quiet in their last game, didn't get a touch until the fourth quarter. Bowling Green did a good job of taking him away as an option, and now he lines up at the top of the screen. Lou Nichols. A yard short of the first down. Third and one coming up in NIU territory for Daniel Richardson. You, and the you give the football right back to Lou Nichols. We've seen him do it time and time again. You pick up, you pick up the first down, you chew this clock up. 
They're five for 10 on third down tonight. A lot of that has to do with Lou. Instead, it's a QB keeper with Richardson, and he's got it. My other favorite call on yeah. third and fourth and short. <laughs> like, quarterback sneak is, is by far the most effective play in football at any level when it comes to getting a yard or less. And I don't know why teams, for the life of me, decide they're going to go in the pistol or go in the shotgun and take themselves five yards back from where they have to gain. You get under center and you run the QB sneak. I love that call. And Central Michigan has done it with Chase Bauer and Daniel Richardson tonight, the QB sneak. And give some credit to that offensive line because every single time they've had to do that, they've got a great push. I bet you Coach McElwain is just looking at that clock saying, can we just eat this thing up <laughs> and get to the fourth quarter with a, at least a two-score lead, if not more? It was all about Central Michigan in the first half. The dump off to Christian Brown. Ooh, hard hit. Falls short of the 40-yard line, but you can hear that crack up here in the press box. And that was a big-time hit. And now Bauer is going to come out of the game. Again, this this way that they rotate these quarterbacks. How about this, this hit? Listen to this. Hey, excuse me, this is Marcus Young. Ooh. Ooh. Daniel Richardson back on third down. To the air he goes, no doubt about it. Carlos Carrier first down to the 28. That ball came out fast. They ran double slants at the top of the screen. And NIU does a really good job taking away the inside route as they drop the defender, Michael Kennedy, the defensive end, into coverage. But a great decision by Richardson to go to the second slant and convert the, the, uh, the first down. It's the 20th first down for Central Michigan compared to eight for NIU. Pass batted up into the air. Several Huskies around it, but it drops. Central Michigan has turned the ball over twice tonight, an interception and a fumble. I've never been a play caller, but when, I, when something like that happens, I always think, what, what, what's, what's a coach thinking? We just escaped devastation, right? I could just hand the football off the next play <laughs> <laughs> to Lou Nichols. And Jace Bauer comes in the game at quarterback. Maybe a quarterback run here, too. And you've got everything heavy into the boundary. He keeps it. He lost the football. Football is on the ground. Battling for it. Oh, that's close. And you all they have to do is fall on the ball. Ray Thomas got in there and forced and, the ball. And fumble. Central gets it back. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was a surefire turnover that NIU has to have. There were husky hands on it at oh. one point. I think the defender was trying to scoop and score instead of all, just all you have to do is fall on the ball. Bowers gets stripped right there. Oh yeah, you see that was Ray Thomas. Thomas four punches that ball out right there. All you got to do is fall on it. CMU catches a break. Now, fortunately, Bryant Keith was the one to fall on it and keep the ball. Richardson on the move. Looking uh -oh. for Lou Nichols, incomplete. Put him in a bad spot. That was sarcasm. <laughs> That's got to be caught. It wouldn't have been a first down, but it certainly would have given them better position to attempt the field goal. And now they're going to try the, a long kick. There's been some inconsistency. Can someone do math for me? It's a 51. 51. Oh, that's what he tried the last time, and he came about a yard short. They fake it. The jump pass. Okay. He fumbled it. Oh, he fumbled it, but he got it back. Oh, my goodness. This is just maxion. Maxion <laughs> at its finest, Courtney. Sweating. We got, we got Tim Tebow jump passes. <laughs> we, we got fumbles. We got guys can't scoop and score. All in a matter of a couple of plays, and just like that, balls in the red zone in central. Look at this. 
the jump pass. Luke Elzinga, the punter, who's also the holder with the little Tim Tebow jump pass. <laughs> you see a look at Thomas Hammock. He's just can't, he can't believe it. And here they go inside the 15. <laughs> Bauer keeper to the seven. And, and Courtney, Bauer on, on this play after he fumbled the last two time. Hands. Yeah. I mean, he's carrying this like like he is 1985 yeah. with two <laughs> hands on the ball. You're not getting this football. His shoulder pads are a little smaller, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bauer and Nichols in the backfield. Again, he pulls it. He's a Nichols to block for him, punches it in. Chase Bauer in the end zone for the second time tonight. That was wild. Everything about that last sequence is the epitome of action. I mean, it's just perfect. You can't you can't script it any better. You go from the the fake field goal, then Bauer comes back here, protects the ball. Gets a really good block by Lou Nichols there on the outside and cuts inside for the touchdown. And, and just like what appeared to be an opportunity for NIU, right? It, assuming they miss that kick or even if they make the field goal, you get off the field and get the ball back and try to, to get back in the game. And, and now Central just increases that to a three score game again. So, hey, listen. NIU last drive did a good job, but Central responds back up 21. 28 to 7 from DeKalb. First Saturday in November with this great rivalry. A Kohler home generator never misses a beat. It automatically powers your entire home in seconds and keeps your family connected. With a heavy-duty commercial-grade engine and no refueling, even when the power goes out, life rocks on. Right now, get a free 10-year extended warranty and up to $750 off. I'm the team mascot, and boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a hit. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love Made In. I love what Made In represents. With the product, you could tell that there's extreme craftsmanship. You would think a pan is a pan until Made In came along, and I went, wow, these things are something better. I use Made In both at home and here at Kraft in New York City. They're beautifully made and will help you take your cooking to the next level. Those are the pans that we use at Alinea. We're going to have the best pans in the world at one of the best restaurants in the world. Guys, let's be honest. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. I'm looking for that one pair of pants that does everything. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics Men. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference. The best thing about the only pant, honestly, everything. You almost forget about the deal that you're getting. Same premium quality as Lululemon, but at a third of the price. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is it has that kick. Not too spicy, but it's just enough for your taste buds to feel that level of heat. And you're like, ooh, this is good. It's the perfect amount of spicy. Hi, I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. You can tell they actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce, marinated it. You're definitely getting a good grilled spicy sandwich. A promise is a trust not to be broken. I say your name. Whether spoken with an oath. Do you solemnly swear. swear? It's your first day. You know I got your back, right? Or seal with a pinky. In 1922, a group of soldiers launched USAA with a promise to take care of their own. And after 100 years, 
we're still taking care of the military community. That's our mission. Always. Won this game. Three quarterbacks playing for one team. Fumbles, recoveries, fumbles, recoveries, a punter throwing a jump pass. I, everything. Well, social media loves it, of course, because crazy <laughs> things happen on Tuesdays and Wednesdays in November on ESPN because this is this is what people love. And you know, <laughs> I love matching. Yeah. I can't oh, wait. Yeah. It's like Christmas coming early. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Year. I love it. Well, we got to take you back to this fake field goal because uh, Luke Elzinga, wow. Okay, the holder, who's also the punter. Boop. The old Tim Tebow jump pass yeah. from back in the day. A terrific throw. And then Keith fumbles it, somehow recovers it right back. McElwain's like, oh, oh, oh okay, well, we'll take it. <laughs> and Hammock's like losing his mind over there. Excited for a second after the fumble, and he's like, oh, no. And then Jace Bauer comes in and finishes off All the drive. Time. Kicking team, number 24. The five-yard penalty would be enforced. So the 25-yard line will be first down at the 30. Number zero for the kicking team gave a fair catch signal, and he completed the catch. And before the fate field goal, Central Michigan had fumbled it and recovered it, and IU had a chance to recover it and couldn't do it. I mean, there were two plays really there on that last drive where you think about it could be potentially a 14-point swing if NIU can get points. It seemed like after that last drive, well, hey, maybe they're going to get back in this game. There's still, you know, a lot of time left here, but they've got to get points on this drive. Well, if they can have a drive like they did coming out of the locker room, it started with running the football with this guy, Harrison Whaley. That is a great start to the 40 in Central Michigan territory. That's exactly how the last drive started, handing the football off to Harrison Whaley and getting him in open space. His longest run of the night at 28 yards. They'll give it to him again. Why not? And that may be the end of the quarter, Courtney, but it's a good way to end. You've got momentum here as there's a player down. That's that's Cole Tucker. That's not good. That's one of their best receiver. Yeah, one of their best receivers, no doubt. Time out on the field for an injury to the offense. So they call that timeout with zeros on the clock as they look at Cole Tucker here. Tried to get up and get out off the field on his own. So that will be the end of the quarter, and we step aside as they take a look at Cole Tucker here. Central Michigan on top of NIU in some midweek action. Black Panther, Wakanda forever in theaters November 11th. Life is expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? Because he made the smart choice to shop with IKEA. With new benefits for IKEA family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in store. Every visit, every day. IKEA. I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. Right. I meant I'm not a bath bomb guy. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Why are so many people turning to Super Beats Crystals? Because Super Beats Crystals give you the energy and blood pressure support you want from real beets without the beet taste. This is Super Beats, and I swear by it. It gives me more healthy energy to keep up with my hectic schedule and supports healthy blood pressure. Super Beats is the number one pharmacist recommended beet brand for heart health support. Inspired by the Nobel Prize winning discovery of nitric oxide for its important role in regulating cardiovascular health, Super Beats black cherry flavored crystals unlock the nitric oxide boosting power of beet nutrients to help widen your blood vessels, supporting healthy blood flow so your body can produce energy more efficiently. That's why over 120 professional and college sports teams use our beet crystals because Super Beats not only supports healthy blood pressure, it also promotes energy and stamina for peak performance. I'm Hunter Kemper. I'm a four-time Olympian in the sport of triathlon. Super Beats can help me win big races late into my 30s. It's increasing your circulation, and that's why this product is so amazing. Call now and find out how to get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats with your first order. Just one teaspoon of Super Beats gives you the functional benefit of 40 teaspoons of fresh beets without the beet taste. You'll also receive these free nitric oxide indicator strips to measure your results, plus a free travel pack of our delicious Super Beats chews. 
with added grapeseed extract for powerful antioxidant support. Perfect for on-the-go energy. Act now, and we'll even include free shipping and free returns. That's over $30 in free gifts, all backed by our 90-day money-back guarantee. So do something good for your blood pressure and your energy. You'll love Super Beats or your money back. For this special offer, go to superbeatsdeal.com or call 1-800-634-3958. That's 1-800-634-3958. An electric guitar that hits all the right notes. Extraordinary. A coffee tea alarm clock that wakes up your senses. Unreal. A QR code that lets you explore and revel in a curated selection of the world's most unique and unexpected tech, fashion, home, and adventure items. Wondrous. Open your phone's camera, scan the code, and discover all that awaits you at touchofmodern.com. Give the gift of comfort this holiday season with Tommy John. We've reimagined pajamas and loungewear with innovative fabrics that are lightweight, breathable, and insanely soft. The fit looks and feels amazing. We can guarantee your comfort, whether you're working from home, relaxing with the kids, or streaming your favorite show. These are pajamas and loungewear to swear by, but the only four-letter word we use is soft. Go to TommyJohn.com now and get 25% off site-wide. Start of the fourth quarter, midweek action time. Central Michigan up 28 to seven, but Northern Illinois looking the best that it has all game. That started in the third quarter coming out of the locker room. Cole Tucker was able to walk off the field on his own after they looked at his knee. We'll try to get you an update on his status. That's the leading receiver for Northern Illinois. And they go back to Harrison Whaley as they should because he's been the big difference maker in the second half. It, no question, Courtney. And when we talk with the offensive staff and certainly um, the offensive coordinator, Eric Eidsness, excuse me, he said they're going to ride the hot hand from the running back position. Antario Brown and Whaley are the two guys, but depending on how the game goes, and at this point, certainly, Whaley has had a heck of a second half. Kremaskoli to the air by himself. Tristan Tavis all alone. But Tavis is wide open on this and you're thinking how does he get so wide open well niu goes into a heavy package and i think everyone on cmu thought the running running back harrison whaley was going to get the football they all bite on the play action and and tavis gets wide open behind the secondary of central michigan and courtney just like that four plays 70 yards and they're going to go for two reverse to the throw to the end zone, the pass is caught by the quarterback, Nevin Kremaskoli. The Husky special. We've seen it all here on midweek action. It was Shamar Thornton, he's now three for three. Love it, the Huskies trying to get back in this ball game, trying to get bull eligible, possibly, we'll see. 28-14, Maxion. For every holiday, for everyone, Ritz, a taste of welcome. This week is your chance to try any Subway footlong for free. Like the Subway series menu. Just buy any footlong in the app and get one free. Free monsters, free bosses, any footlong for free. This guy loves a great offer. So let's see some hustle. On a Fansville homecoming by Dr. Pepper. Surprise! CJ, oh, we weren't expecting you. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Hey, go state. You replaced me with star quarterback Bryce Young? We could never replace you. Here's your Dr. Pepper mom. Mom? <laughs> it's just a silly nickname. <laughs> you came up with dad for me. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Huh. They're my family now, CJ. Next time on Fansville. Hey, brother. Get out of my room! Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. This holiday, make no mistake, everything here is 
Philadelphia cheesecake. Mm. Cheesecake is everything. Pick your own. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. Maple Leafs. In front of the goal, Matthew Stinkor! Hurricane. Sebastian Ajo stays red hot! A showcase of young guns, Sunday on ESPN. That is hockey. I press play. I'm moving forward in my life. I press play. I'm choosing my path. Owning each day. Thinking about my life. My goals. What's next? I press play because I got tested for HIV. Now I know my status. I talked to a doctor. Now I know what's important to me. I press play. I got tested for HIV. Going to do what's right for me. I press play in my future. I press play. I did. I did. We all should get tested for HIV. Mom, we need to talk to you about your ghost. Don't you think it's a little odd he showed up in your life right when you became a gigglioner? He's a gig digger, Mom. He's using you for your AT&T fiber. Now that it has hyper gig speeds, he spends half the day shirtless playing VR games. Kids, why do you think I became a gigglioner in the first place? Yes, I am your ghost. We know. know. Live like a gigglioner with AT&T fiber. Now with speeds up to five gigs, limited availability. Shamar Thornton, number 19 in red, is the one that made the toss to convert the two-point try for Northern Illinois. Not a high school quarterback. He just went to the coaching staff and said, I think I can throw it pretty well. And he's done it three times this season with three completions. And Eisenis said, can't throw it. They gave him a chance in practice a couple times. Like, okay, we stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> Central Michigan is going to try to run this out. They make it past the 20. About the 23 yard line and flags come out. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 36, kicking team, 15-yard penalty added to the end of the run, first down, Central Michigan. That's his first unsportsmanlike of the game. Just when you got a little costly, momentum, yeah. a costly penalty like that, it's going to bail him out and put him... Because maybe you had some momentum yeah, no, I, for two. I thought did you they like that decision? You know, it's interesting, Courtney. I don't know what the book says, the analytics book that everyone talks about. Like, is that a good spot to go for it? But I, I did feel like when they got it, they caught them off guard a little bit. I don't think Central was even thinking about that. And there's a look at the personal foul. There's Sinister, I think, just decided to... Pop somebody in the back of the head for no reason, and coach is talking to him. Lou but, Nichols up the middle. We've seen what Central Michigan can do when Northern Illinois gives them better field position with a penalty, oh, yeah. not converting on a fourth down try. Well, yeah, all, all the drives in the first half ended on turnover on downs, and CMU converted points off all those. So. You know, field position in this game has been been huge, and, and CMU has a big advantage there. Daniel Richardson takes the snap. Carrier, first down past the 50, steps out at the 48-yard line in Husky territory. They've used him more in the second half, too. Yeah, it's his third catch of the game. And he, really, he's, Courtney, the only receiver they've had all season that's been healthy for every game. And you, you talk about the lack of depth they have at that position. I mean, it, you know, Khalil Pimpleton leaves early last year, and he's on the Giants practice squad. They could use him tonight. Ooh. Oh, big hole for Nichols to run through a yard short of the first down, but inside the 45. And they lost their top returning wide receiver yeah. to the point, too. Mm -hmm. Dallas Dixon, they lost him in the South Alabama game. Look at this hole. Right up the middle. And 
again, that's where they've been running nickels. They have not tried any outside stretch plays, zone plays. It's all been up the gut as Nichols has his really his biggest workload since early in the season. Uh, 73 yards on the ground tonight. Hard earned yards though. Carries in his first action since October 8th when he was injured against Ball State. Back to Lou, and I use defense a better ready for it, but did he get enough? I think he's just a little bit short. You let him do it again? Uh, yeah, I think twice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if you get the opportunity and they get stopped on third down, there's no doubt. Either they do that or what else, Courtney? Quarterback sneak. Quarterback sneak. Yep. That's right. They've done that twice tonight and converted on both occasions. Both with Jace Bauer and Daniel Richardson at that quarterback spot. Maybe you do it here on third down. This will be Richardson going under center. Nichols is behind him in the backfield. They give it to Lou. Fumbled it. Fumbled it. Popped out and scooped up. Isaiah Green May down the sideline for the Huskies. Flags down near midfield. Oh, that's going to be another sideline foul on NIU, but either way, what a turn of events. Just like that. You know, Central's driving. It's third in inches. And the Huskies' defense, which really... They haven't been able to get a stop all game. Take a look at this. Nichols, this is his second fumble of the game. Doesn't have the football so really on the field is a fumble. Recovered by the defense, returned for a touchdown. After the play was over, sideline interference, Northern Illinois. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. We'll do the try. And remember, they, they got warned earlier in yes. the game, so this is the second call. That's why the, the foul. It was DeMond Taylor Jr. that got in on that play that helped poke the ball out from Lou Nichols. And then Isaiah Green May running for his life. The third turnover tonight by Central Michigan. But finally, NIU is able to turn it into points. Look at this game we got. Just a minute ago, they were down 21 points. And in a flash, the Huskies defense come up with a scoop and score. Down just six. The fun fourth quarter ahead here. A little midweek action. Life has never felt so expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? Because he made the smart choice to shop with IKEA. Jamie hasn't stopped dancing since she left the store. With IKEA, you're caring for your wallet and each other and your guests and the planet. Now you can afford even more with new benefits for IKEA family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in-store. Every visit, every day. IKEA. Can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? You have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. ba da ba ba, -ba. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are mighty annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Woo! Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. Laser X, the number one home laser tag game on the planet. Join Team Red, Blue, or whatever color you choose. The Revolution Blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new Micro Blasters built in receiver, you can play Blaster to Blaster. The ultra long range blaster has the longest range of any Laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you blast multiple opponents at once. You can get the Micro Blaster double set for $29.99, and shipping is free. Batteries not included, extra blasters sold separately, plus the 18 year older to older. Hey, Gary. Hey, Robert. 
You've been up there all night? Yeah, just keeping watch. You need Simply Safe's wireless outdoor security camera. It works with Simply Safe's already award-winning home security for even more comprehensive protection. What? Hey, Shirley! What? You're not gonna believe this. The wireless outdoor security camera from Simply Safe. Over 100 million Americans have a low credit score. Self is a new way to build credit that doesn't require a credit score. Plus, Self helps you save money every month and reports your payments to all three credit bureaus. Download the app today. The tale of two halves, that's for sure. There is some momentum, some energy on the NIU sideline after a 57-yard scoop and score. Remember, NIU did not score in the first half. What a different second half, and, and really give the defense credit. Obviously, the scoop and score is huge. But Whaley in the second half, eight carries for 81 yards. First half, seven for 13 yards. Big difference. Yeah, especially for a team that wants to run the football, and he has had some great runs. He's gotten some great holes to run through, too. And last week, Central Michigan had four turnovers against BG. Tonight, three. Costly. This is Hicks on the move for Central Michigan. Trying to cut back to the other side of the field. Oh, so they get the ball midfield because of that sideline interference yes. penalty. So, boy, just like that. Let's go back to last year, Courtney. Hey, you were on the call I for this one. I called this game, and it was, it was electric. Late fireworks. Yeah, there was a late field goal to get things close here, but then it comes down to special teams in this one because it was just a one-point game, and this play was, was it what cost it for Central Michigan. Yeah, bad snap. That would have been to win the game. And NIU wins by one point. Well, Central Michigan has won six of the last eight, but last year certainly a memorable one. <laughs> Bauer on the move, still looking downfield. Flag is out. Pass is caught at the 35-yard line. I thought there was a hold in the backfield yeah. on Central. Hogan made the grab, but I don't think it matters. It was right as Bauer is scrambling outside the pocket. Holding. Offense. 10-yard penalty. First down. It's going to be on, I think, 48, right, Conley? Yeah, the tight end. Yeah. Right on the edge, and, and that's that's a big penalty. Now you're going to back him up first and 20 here. And it puts the ball at their own 40-yard line. Pistol look, Bauer still in. They'll change. Bring up Luke Nichols. Up the middle goes Bauer. Still going. Still on his feet, falling forward at the 40. And I think he gets the first down. So at first yeah. and 20, they're just trying to pick up some of that penalty yardage back. And Bauer goes for 21. If you're just joining us, Central Michigan has used three quarterbacks in this game. Jace Bauer has prior primarily been the one to run it, and he's had a lot of success doing it. And missed tackles there by the Huskies defense. Michael Kennedy's trying to make the stop he gets knocked off the tackle by his teammate look at those numbers for Bauer tonight 13 for 104 I'll leave him in I would too Lou Nichols trying to redeem himself after the fumble that led to a 57 yard scoop and score by NIU and, and you know I wonder about Nichols how much that foot's really bothering him he's put the ground ball on the ground now twice and he's also dropped two passes that were right in his hands. Like, how much is he really thinking about that injury? Still looks pretty good on this run. But he cuts off that left foot, not the right foot. Yeah, it's his right ankle that he's missed the last two games with it banged up. Bert Emanuel back in at quarterback. Keeps it. 
Flag on the far sideline as Emmanuel takes it to the 34. I think, I think, I think NIU was off sides. And now another flag after the play. Emmanuel's helmet came off. So one flag at the start of the play, one after the play. Offside, number 15, defense. That five-yard penalty is enough for a first down. After the play is over, unsportsmanlike conduct, assistant coach, Central Michigan. That 15-yard penalty is enforced. It'll be first down, 10 yards to go, Central Michigan. Wow. Yeah, it's Isaiah Greenmay, number 15, top of your screen. It was very close. Like, I thought he had a great get off. That was almost as good as it gets. Like, if you're in a 100 meter dash, I don't think that's a full start. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is in this game. It is in this game, yeah. Offsides. And then, of course, the costly penalty on Central Michigan assistant coach. That's going to back them up. Jace Bauer is back at quarterback. Working his way to the 40. Oh, he's banged up there. He... Oh, yeah, still down. And, and now flags. Courtney, this is getting a little out of hand here. Chippy. And you can tell Bauer in some pain. Remember, they have dealt with quarterback injuries all season. He was the third on the depth chart to start this season, but they've... Oh, excuse me, Bauer was second, but they, he's kind of come in to play and been really important in this game, using his legs to back up Daniel Richardson. And Jordan White is also down on the field at about the 25-yard line for NIU. So two players down. The result right of the play is second down. After the play is over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 15, offense. 15-yard penalty. It is second down. That's Iron Jackson. That's number 15's first unsportsmanlike of the game. You'll take, take a look at the play. You, you'll see Bauer at the end. Takes a hit from Routine right on that shoulder, and you can see immediately as he goes to the ground, him holding that opposite shoulder, or maybe the rib area. Yeah, I think it's maybe the ribs there, yeah. Courtney. Took a lick from Nick Routine, and, and hopefully Bauer's going to be okay because he has really done a terrific job running this offense tonight with his legs. He's definitely making the defense think, that's for sure. Oh, no question. 109 and now, yards on the ground. Well, and now second and 20. Right. And no Bauer. Yeah. So their options, Daniel Richardson and also Bert Emanuel, who we've seen for the first time all season in this game. It's Richardson with Lou Nichols to his right. They put Kate Connolly in motion. Balls at their own 45. To the air, to McGoy. It's short of the first down, but here comes third. Wow, still a really good pick up there on a second and 20. It's going to be third and three. Now, do you, you want to go back to Lou Nichols, who's put the ball on the turf the last couple times. Richardson's going to throw it. Pass incomplete. No flags. I, I think you have to punt this ball. He was looking for with, Kenny Brewer. With no Jace Bauer, I think you have to punt this ball, and I think they're going to. I'm a big advocate of going for it in these situations, but without probably your best weapon, in a fourth and three situation. Your defense has, has been great tonight against the run. And not so great the last couple drives, but still, if you can pin them inside the 15 or inside the 10 yard line, make NIU go the distance. Do you look out for the puncher here? I mean, he's already thrown a jump pass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, they will punt it away. It's a good punt, good punt. 
Doesn't get much better than that, Courtney. Wow. Pins them deep. Luke Elzinga. And now we step aside. Will this momentum continue for NIU? Back on offense when we come back to DeKalb. The game is changing for the better, I think, faster probably than it ever has before. Athletes change. The equipment needs to evolve with them. Data always wins and data always leads. It'll also inform how technique is coached into players. That makes it more fun and exhilarating because you know for the next generation of players there's going to be something new. I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. No need to get that personal. State Farm personal price plan it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Marcia has sleep apnea, and her struggles with CPAP had me sleeping in the guest room. Now she's got Inspire. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Now I'm back. And we're back. Inspire. Learn more at inspiresleep.com. How do they make Starburst taste so juicy? I don't know, but you just asked the whole universe. Humans are asking for juice. And we are the juice. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. When you're feeding 500 people every day, there's no room for error. That's why I love Made in Cookware. Each pan they make isn't just designed to perform, it's crafted to last. Introducing hey, the hey, all-pro hey. passer robotic quarterback. Just pump, press, and pass. Hey, Slant, hey. post, short, long. All-pro passer has nine different passing zones so you can run hundreds of plays. Hey, hey, and hey. it can launch the ball over 25 yards. It's perfect for any park or backyard. You can get your all-pro passer and a TV bonus sticker sheet for $49.99. Plus $8.99 processing and handling. Batteries hey, not included. Hey, hey. Must be 18 or over to order only from NSI. It all started when we showed up in Austin waving a Wazoo flag. Then it kind of became an obsession. After 15 years, game day finally came to Washington State. Now we keep doing it because game day isn't just a day, it's a lifestyle. A showcase of Young Guns, Sunday on ESPN. That is hockey. Well, to get in the foxhole, you got to be tough. You got to be physical. You got to be like Kyle Moretti. He has been everywhere for the Chippewas defense tonight. Nine tackles from his middle linebacker position, pressuring the quarterback. Where's the neck roll? Love it. <laughs> this guy, he could be in the foxhole with me any day of the week. Love it. Oh, did he get out? He oh. barely got out of the end zone. Yeah, barely. And there's Moretti again, signaling safety. We're going to need Moretti and the rest of the CMU defense because NIU's offense has shown up, but only in the second half. Correct. Rob Akey's defense was without a couple of key pieces tonight. Nick Apsey, one of their linebackers, and Dakota Cochran, both out tonight. So this is where I'd have, I'd have Justin Lynch in the game. They're sticking with Nevin Kremaskoli. The deep ball pass incomplete in coverage. Ronald Kent. It does not get much better than that from Ronald Kent. Terrific job in phase down the field. Nearly intercepts. It's got a little jersey there, but the ref can't see it. And he's playing the football. Beautiful. He has definitely been a difference maker, the grad transfer from Western Carolina. So now third and ten. In trouble, ball comes out! Ball comes out in the end zone! That might be a touchdown. The White Hat was trying to make a signal and just got 
ran into by a Central Michigan player. Thomas Incombe forced the fumble. And the Chippewas with a touchdown on defense. There's your guy. I'll tell you what, you get in the foxhole, you make a play. Moretti comes up with the touchdown. And maybe the game clinching play. And, and Central is going to go for two here. Yeah, Incombe doing a great job putting the pressure on Kremaskoli. And then you see Ronald Kent and also Kyle Moretti in there. Rob Akey, the defensive coordinator. So with it being a 12-point game, Central will go for two. And Jace Bauer is back in. Going to the air, looking for his options in the back of the end zone. There is a flag, though, in the backfield. It was caught by Finn Hogan, but the flag could be a hold. Holding, number 86, offense. 10-yard penalty, we'll retry. Uh, and now they try the P they'll try the PAT, which I should mention Marshall Meter has been just three for eight. Yeah, coming into this game, three for eight on, on field goals, but PAT's yeah. twelve for thirteen coming into the game. Yeah, he's he has he's certainly had his issues. This is not a typical PAT though. <laughs> No problem for meter. Mm -hmm. How about that for the Chippewa defense? So Moretti gets himself inside the foxhole and then comes up with another big play. So nine tackles on the day. How about add yourself a touchdown, a defensive score for the Chippewas? So? The new iPhone 14 Pro. It's amazing. Yep, the camera is incredible and you'll get our best deal. Nice, but everyone should get it. Everyone can get it. Every new customer. And every existing customer. Every iPhone. Every iPhone. Every iPhone. Every, every iPhone. Okay, my work here is done. Everyone gets the best deal on every iPhone. Best one yet. Everyone gets AT&T's best deals on every iPhone, including up to $800 off iPhone 14 Pro. Are you coming for my job? Life is expensive. So why is Omar snoozing like a baby? Because he made the smart choice to shop with IKEA. With new benefits for IKEA family members, including 5% off all eligible purchases in-store. Every visit, every day. IKEA. Without the right start to your day, your morning could hit a wall. It's not the door. I got it. Velveeta breakfast biscuits are baked with slow-release carbs and provide steady morning energy to help you rise and thrive. Ever wonder why they call it the American dream and not the American goal or plan? Maybe it's because in dreams, you can do anything. In dreams, you can hold your entire world in the palm of your hand and turn time inside out again and again. And you can do it all with your eyes wide open. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At Xchair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. Xchair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. X-Chair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work worlds zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, 
We've got our eye on the future of work, so you can focus on the present. At XChair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit XChair.com today and get 50% off an XHMT heat and massage unit with every chair. Why pay over 100 bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want with all the entertainment you love for the price that cable can be. Try free at FuboTV.com. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference. The college football playoff national championship. Monday, January 9th on ESPN. If your rankings came out yesterday, um, anything surprise you in these top six teams? Yeah, I'm a little surprised Michigan uh, was not in the top four. I, I probably would have had them ahead of Clemson at this point, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Ohio State's going to play Michigan at the end of November, and you know that'll, that'll create some some drama there. And you know Alabama being at six, that doesn't matter either because if they went out, they're going to be in the top four. I think Tennessee deserves to be number one. To me, the most impressive team in the country. What's crazy is this week they played Georgia, and Georgia's a huge favorite. Right. So, we shall see. We shall see. It'll be really interesting. There's still so much to be decided, too. But it gives us something to talk about, that's for sure. Well, NIU fumbled in the end zone. It was recovered by Kyle Moretti for a defensive touchdown for Central Michigan to put them back up by 13 points now. They went into the locker room at halftime up 21 to nothing, and NIU came back out in the third quarter, starting running the football, getting back to their identity, and that's how they got back in this football game. Harrison Whaley was a big part of that, and they give him the football again. He's got the 30 and then some, got the sideline in front of him. Look at the speed, tripped up at the 40. Dante Kent finally grabbed him. Boy, he has gotten loose several times here in the second half. Slippery, running back, does a great job cutting back. And a missed tackle on the inside by Laquan Johnson. Can't get him on the ground and he's out the gate. 34 yard pickup. Takes it to the 41 in Central Michigan Territory. Four more yards. I know the clock is, is not your friend at this point in the game. But when you're getting those chunk plays to run the football, I, I would do it until they prove they can stop it. Kremiscola is going to throw. Up to the top of the screen, Shamar Thornton. He's got the first down. Jarvaris Sims in coverage. Well, Rob Aikie's defense really good in that first half, pitching the shutout, but NIU's found a way to work its way through it here in the second half. Oh, they need a big stop here because all of a sudden if NIU gets a quick score, they're right back in the game again. Whaley to the 29. Pickup of one, stopped by Michael Heldman. That's Coach Aiki. He was a fun guy to talk to, right? And he's, he's got that <laughs> raspy voice, like just old school football guy. Love talking to Coach Aiki this week and getting to know his young men. Coach the D-line at Florida in 2017, three seasons in the NFL. Was also the head coach at Idaho from 2007 to 2012. Kremiscoli, it's tipped up off of the fingertips tips of Stepney. Now, Kremiscoli thinks his wide receiver is wide open coming across the formation. But what he doesn't see is number four, Dante Kent comes out of nowhere and nearly picks it off. I think he sees Jack West Bristol coming at him in his face. All 300 pounds. All 300 pounds, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes, I'd be scared too. Not saying he was scared, but I would yeah. be scared. 
third and nine from the 29. He's flushed out of the pocket. Good throw, connection made, McCray. The ball came out, but they're gonna say he was down, down. yes. Yeah. It looks like kremaskoli has gotten more comfortable throwing the football as this game has gone. Yeah, and, and I like the way that they're moving the pocket, getting him outside, kind of creating those, those throws on the move. Early on, he was overthro overthrowing yeah. his targets. Whaley to the 13. Michael Heldman drags him down. to the corner of the end zone. Billy Dozier was the intended target. Yeah, the freshman, I think Sims was, was the man in coverage, number eight. Javarius Sims, and there was a lot of contact. I mean, certainly that ball was not catchable. Go back and take a look at the, the throw. At least holding him. Wow. And the official's right there. I'm surprised they didn't call that. You think that was a catchable ball? It's hard to say. I mean, he <laughs> certainly was holding him from getting there. Let's try the other side to Thornton. Uh, you got to go for this now. A field goal doesn't, does you no favors. It still makes it a two-score game. If, if I'm Rob Akey, the defensive coordinator of Central Michigan, I'm bringing as many hats and pr as much pressure as I can on the young freshman quarterback Nevin Kremaskoli. He's never been in a situ situation like this in college football. They throw it up Thornton, but he overthrows him. And he had him, oh. Courtney. He just missed him. Took out a cheerleader in the process, but I think she's okay. I think she's okay. Thornton Ooh. had a step on his man, Ronald Kent. Boy, she's a tough cookie. She hung in there. Got up quickly. Well, you can see that Nevin Kremaskoli, he's got the arm. He's just got to work on the accuracy. Yeah, he's got arm talent, no doubt. And again, he's never been in these situations. He's a preferred walk-on. He just got here in the, in the fall. And all of a sudden, in the last eight days, they've had extra time in between games because of the midweek. He's gotten more reps to play in this game. And NIU will empty the tank with their tight or with their timeouts, I should say. And 4 11 on the Northern clock. Illinois, their first of the half. This will be a 30 second timeout. Well, don't forget this week's featured ESPN college football game. Bryce Young, number six, Alabama, square off against Jaden Daniels and number 10, LSU. Coverage begins at Saturday night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ESPN and the app. What do you think? Has midweek action lived up to what you thought it was going to be and what you know it is? I, I had a funny feeling that NIU was going to come back and get the lead and then we'd see... Central go down and kick a field goal, but you know, again, the big turnover in the end zone, a defensive score by the Chippewas is is how we're at 35-22, because this was a 28-22 game with NIU possessing the football just moments ago, and now they get the, the turnover on downs. That's now 0 for 4, by the way, for NIU on fourth fourth down tonight. Bert Emanuel at quarterback. Runs it immediately to the 20. They'll want to burn as much clock as possible. And NIU is going to use another timeout. What do you think Bert Emanuel has added? First time that we've seen well, him. Listen, I th think he's got a unique skill set. Um, you know, talking with some of the staff before the game, we knew he was going to play. 
uh, probably has to develop a little bit more as a passer, but he's certainly a, a terrific athlete. They have not thrown the football with him in the game. They've all been quarterback design runs. But he's got got the pedigree. Remember, Pops was a, a great NFL wide receiver, Burt Sr. Nine years in the NFL. You hit the last four games of the season, too. And remember, if you play in only four games, you can still use that. Yeah, it's a freebie. Here, so Ex get some experience. Get some experience. I mean, you're, listen, you're two and six. Get the kid in there. I like what I see so far. Haven't seen him throw, of course, but I mean, got size. I mean, 6'3", 210 for a freshman. Another design run. Extra effort should got move it. the chains. Yeah, I think he got the first yeah. down. Remember, this game was critical for both teams. Both teams would have to win out in order to become bowl eligible. They both made bowl games last season. Central Michigan was able to beat Washington State in its bowl game. Zero, zero, please. So now the Huskies out of timeouts. Courtney, I, I guess it's pretty simple here, right? A steady dose of Burt Emanuel as he stays in the game. Well, they have one more timeout. With one timeout left. Excuse me. And Central Michigan just taking their time here. And the forced fumble and the recovery in the end zone by the Central Michigan defense, that really helped them after NIU started threatening here in the second half. has the football and a flag down. C.J. Brown. I think Eric Rogers in there too. Yeah, I think Brown was the one that maybe stripped the football. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. During the return by the defense, personal foul, legal blindside block, number one, 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, first down Northern Illinois. Well, the one thing that couldn't happen there was a fumble. And that's a big hit. Brown's the one that strips the ball out. And it's Jordan White, who Burt Emanuel's kind of falling down on top of. And then you said it, Courtney, Jordan Hansen comes up with the ball. But still, they're going to back him up 15 yards, so they've got a little ways to go here. But the only way to really to get the ball back with any sort of time was to create a turnover, and that's what the Huskies did. They have one timeout to work with. It's, it's the fourth, fourth turnover, turnover by Central Michigan. It's eight turnovers in two weeks. Yeah, it's plagued them. Thornton. To the 41. Clock moves. And now you with no time to waste. Kermiscoli over the top, incomplete, looking for Tucker. Tucker, who left the game earlier, is a little banged up there. Yeah, he's running out, holding that left hand. That's their leading receiver. Third down ball still at the, third, the 41 in Central Michigan territory. And now Curtis Coley feeling the pressure, has to run it himself, takes a hard hit, but gets the first down. That was a big pop. Justin Whiteside. Oh, no. Kremaskoli shows a pretty good athleticism here. Whitesides is, Whiteside is down. He's been a beast tonight. I mean, we've said his name numerous times. No doubt. Listed as a sophomore, but it's his fourth season. 
playing for Central Michigan, second on the team in tackles. And good to see him walk off the field under his own power. We've got first and 10 coming up for NIU at the 35. One timeout, 2.31 on the clock. Down 13. Packet collapsing from the story, fighting to stay free and throws it away. Boy, that <laughs> defensive front is just wreaking havoc and somehow Ramascoli escapes the pocket just to throw it away both Johnson and Bristol were in there in the face and also like Whiteside in there too now uh, John Wesley Whiteside got some pressure second and ten now dropping way back Dangerous pass looking for Tristan Tavis, but Trey Jones stuck his hand out. Thomas Incum got some pressure too on Kremiscoli. Yeah, just look at the pressure right up the middle. Thomas Incum, who's a great story, Courtney. Yeah, started as a soccer player, came over to the States from Ghana. They saw him at a camp. He had just started football as a sophomore in high school. Thornton has it right at the marker, at the 25. Dante Kent met him there, and Dante Kent still down for the Chippewas. That's amazing, Incum, his story. He's banged up a little bit here, too. Yeah. I think he's just cramping. He had the game-winning scoop and score against Akron, took it 63 yards, but we were asking Jim McElwain about him. He said, look, he came to a camp at Florida, didn't really know about the kid, but just looking at him, he mm -hmm. knew he was an athlete, and his coach said, yeah, I'm not really sure about him yet, but I'll let you know he's going to play tight end for me. And then what goes to Valdosta State for a couple of seasons for transferring here? Seven and a half sacks, eight and a half sacks now after tonight. Now that leads the Central Mich Michigan defense. He's had a sack in all but one game this season. Kent is up as well. First and 10 at the 25. Huskies still have that timeout. Intercepted! Trey Jones leapt up in the air and took it away! His second INT of the season! Trey Jones comes up with the play to save the game. Goes up, catches it at his highest point, just playing the cloud safety. And he comes down, drops into coverage, goes up and gets it. And boy, Jones, a heck of a player. Coaches were raving about him this week. Says he loves to run the show back there in the secondary. He knows where everyone's got to be, studies the extra tape, and comes up with the big turnover to seal this football game. Well, it's, he's really owned his role this year. They yeah. see that pride in running that defense back there. And hey, paying off with a little pick. And Chippewas want to keep this on the ground, run that clock. NIU with just one timeout. Two score game. Got his first start in the bowl game last year, and he has been a major impact player this year for the Chippewas. Well, it's kind of funny you mentioned that bowl game because that was a Sun Bowl, right? Yeah. Big time game against Washington State, and Jones gets that start. You know who else got that start? First start? 
Moretti. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Moretti gets the first start in the Sun Bowl. Both players come up with huge turnovers in this game to, to help them seal a victory. Moretti had the fumble recovery in the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, remember, Central Michigan, both of these teams came into the game having to win out to become bowl eligible, but Central Michigan looks like they'll be on the favor, in favor of that. Hanging on, if they can hang on the last minute 50 here, but the schedule coming up, Buffalo, who Ohio ended Buffalo's five-game win streak last night. Then they've got Western Michigan and Eastern Michigan. they got to win all of those to become bowl eligible. Good news, too, is that Lou Nichols is back. He still looks a little bit gimpy, but I give him a lot of credit. He's, he's gutted through this game. He does have to secure the rock, though. Yes. He, he's put the, the, the football on the turf twice tonight. That's two of the four turnovers. That's on Nichols. Usually has excellent ball security. As I'm, I'm guessing he'll get one more carry here tonight. And you think, too, any defense that's facing Central Michigan is going to be tested now. And you got to think, what quarterback is in the game? What is their skill set? Because now we've seen three different ones. Nichols again to the 30. And that will seal the game. Wow, Central Michigan went into the <laughs> locker room leading 21 to nothing at halftime. NIU made this a football game in the second half. Courtney, we've seen it all tonight. If, literally we, we, everything. We've seen a, a million turnovers. We've seen a scoop and score. We saw a punter throw a jump pass yep. on a fake field goal on a fourth down. We saw a touchdown recovery in the end zone on a sack fumble. What do you expect on midweek matches? We saw three quarterbacks on one drive. We did? <laughs> We've seen five quarterbacks total? Yes. <laughs> We've seen it all. Action, baby. I love it. <laughs> Coach McElwain's just like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. How do we get this win? Again, the goal was whatever quarterback helped them move the football was the quarterback they would put in on that play. Jace Bauer, Daniel Richardson, and for the first time this season, Burt Emanuel all coming in, all playing key roles, especially to remember they lost Joel Wilson, did not have him in the second half. They're tied in, who's their leading touchdown catcher. Yeah, that was a big loss for them early, but they, they got it going on the ground. Their defense does just enough. Hey, when you turn the ball over four times, and you still win the game by two scores, that's pretty impressive. They got it done. So Coach McElwain goes back to Mount Pleasant with Bull Hope still alive. That's right. Central Michigan needs to continue to win out to get back to a bowl game, but Chippewas with some definitely some bright spots. Good news, as we said, Lou Nichols, he has been back. Got to secure up the football a little bit better. But Central Michigan picking up its third win of the season, 35 to 22 in their first midweek Maxion game of the season. What, you, what impressed you most about Central Michigan overall? Well, I think their ability to kind of throw anything against the wall and try to figure out what's going to work offensively because they've struggled the last several weeks to get points on the board. And in this game, three different quarterbacks. You got Lou Nichols back in the game. That helped certainly as, a, as an offense. And defensively, the t they got the turnovers when, it, when it, they needed it most. So, And they get the win tonight when they needed it most. Bowl eligibility still up for grabs for Central Michigan. Hey, we proved it tonight. Anything can happen in midweek matchup. Central Michigan defeats NIU 35 to 22.